I was thinking about it because I said you look hot and thirsty because of the weight. And it's like you look like you got a lot of insulation going on. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just making an observation, man. Okay. Love you, bro. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Yo, welcome. Welcome to I the Food Saver in the Mushroom Podcast. Podcast. Drink more of it. Uh, episode on, 31. What y'all know about Reggie Miller, y'all? Come on, bro. Reggie Miller, y'all. Trash ass receiver. Use a damn <laughs> god damn no no I know you're joking I know, I know you're joking okay cool, cool. That's this motherfucker said receive <laughs> I hate sport, he bitch. was trash when uh who was that he dated that made him fall off his game I don't know nothing about that what y'all talking about who y'all talking about no Re- no Reggie Miller Reggie I, 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 I fucking was Miller with Indiana the, Pacers yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was fucking with slipping on your pimping I was fucking bro he's the number one fucking shooter before Curry before Ray Allen. Indiana Pacers. No, nah, no, nah, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. with Michael Jordan. Yeah. Now nah, I was, uh, you know how, Yo. you know who I was referring. Oh yeah, yeah, he did yeah, fight yeah. with him. Yeah. Or I Michael respect Jordan them. Paul Hill. Anyway, let's say I, that. I respect them Barkley ass <laughs> niggas. I respect them Barkley ass niggas. Like, what's up, Shaq? Like, oh, I'm gonna yeah, see you yeah, in the court. Yeah. Respect, <laughs> yeah. I respect that. Like, For I don't sure. give a fuck who you are. Yeah, I'm swinging on you. Nah, but this is this episode, episode 31. We swinging on y'all niggas today, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yo, look. I am your host, Professor X, in the building, producer, engineer extraordinaire. Make sure you run on over to www.professorxsound.productions for mm-hmm. all your entertainment, production, and recording needs. Absolutely. To my right. Big Mike, Hairline Don, Cognac Poppy. Go to Popeyes, nigga. That chicken sandwich is delicious. To my motherfucking right. Yo, what's happening? Cool <laughs> table fashion. Lights, camera, action. Joe Money. Jacks, what's happening? What's happening? Hey, yo, who had the Popeye sandwich? You have, <laughs> apparently. You have. Bruh. This nigga is smiling from ear to ear right hey. now. Hey, <laughs> hey, nigga, I made a video. I'm put up, but that shit is quite delicious. It was delicious, man. Okay, I stay by white folks. No, no, no disrespect, but I ain't really think they go to Popeyes like that. No, I, I ain't think so neither. Bro. Me neither. I ain't know they had pop, like I thought Shit. Popeyes was like you know what I'm saying. I thought it was Louisiana New Orleans. What makes y'all thing. think that? I don't know because I mean you Do know you don't. I don't think y'all understand how much white people love fried chicken. I was about bro. to say that, but they don't promote, it. bro. I, I don't know that. I don't know why they don't promote that. They it is the craziest thing ever to me. I white people didn't like might spice. Love- I thought they didn't like spice or seasoning, bro. bro. Spice. You gotta have spice or seasoning to put on your damn chicken. No, no, you don't. Now they're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have to. So they just fry the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, black people gotta have spices and seasonings when we're frying chicken. Hey man, let me say this big up to our white listeners. I got a whole girl that listened to us. She <laughs> said she fuck with us most of the time. She was like a little bit of our shit be like out of her lane, but she understand it and dig it. So big ups to kids. Hey man, we be fucking around. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, yeah, just yeah, jokes, yeah, yeah. just jokes, white folks. We love yeah, all y'all. But like, honestly, honestly, we love we love most of y'all. Yeah. Most of y'all. I thought they just went to like Chipotle and Panera Bread. Like, God, like he like, said Panera Bread. Nigga, Panera Bread got them. Them bagels hey, bro, I ain't with gonna the, flex. Uh, the cream cheeses. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nigga, I got yeah. it. I love that shit. I ain't going to need flex. My manager from Scandinavia, she put me onto the Panera Bread. Scandinavia. Scandinavia. That's, she from over there, man. Uh, I, I like know. Atlanta bread better than Panera Bread. Same I shit, thought it was the same shit, same, but different. Nah, it's different. Nah, it's different. nah they got different like, it's items. Different. It's different. So it's like, you said different items? McDonald's yes. and Burger King. I was about to say, Pizza nice and Papa John's, my nigga. They, what? Well, no. Papa John's mm-hmm. trash. Uh-huh. Papa John's trash. <laughs> trash? Yeah. You said Papa John's trash? Uh, I, I gotta put garlic sauce and everything, bro. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I've yet to have their pizza without that garlic sauce. You know what? I drench it. In Popeyes, this. back on it. Crank it. Oh yeah, Popeyes, <laughs> bro. I, I've never seen white people get this mad <laughs> over motherfucking chicken. This nigga, you could tell it's boiling up. They must have ran out of something. What happened? Nah. So the black people, they act the fool. Excuse me, excuse, uh, excuse me. You know that kind of shit. The uh-huh. guy like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been waiting here for 30 minutes. Man, you're number 82. We're at like 64. Can, can you just get me that one right there? Like, that's that's black folk. That's typical. We, we used to that shit. So, white dude just kept looking. 
<laughs> he lift up his arm and tapped his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, looking at this. Finally, he stands in line like he's about to order again. He gets there and says, manager, please. <laughs> Yo, they different. They different. <laughs> I'm not about to embarrass myself, nigga, but what you about to do <laughs> is give me my chicken or my money. That's uh, it, bro. This is what I want to speak that's to somebody. I want to talk Popeye. to somebody. Yo, that's the first thing that he said. Say, hey, excuse me. Hey, how you doing? No nothing? No good morning? No good no. afternoon? Just he already ordered. Manager, please. You said yes. he already ordered. <laughs> Nigga, he was waiting for like an hour. Me and him oh had a full conversation. Damn. I waited oh. about an hour. I waited so this about motherfucker an hour. already oh, got I, his food. A chicken sandwich that ain't worth that shit. No, no, no. He ain't eat nothing. He ain't, get, he ain't get no food. He got there. Manager, please. He's number 78. I was 81. <laughs> Nigga, I, I, nigga, you have to know your number. Because niggas was calling shit and swiping. It was crazy. It was crazy. And, For oh, a chicken sandwich? Bruh, so Hey, bro, you got to say off what road? Off what road? Nigga, I'm off. Uh, this is off Barrett Parkway. This is off Kennesaw. Okay, like, you uh, out there. Okay. Yeah. Right. White folks. Yeah, I, I, I'm yeah to tell you, you out there. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't College Park. Y'all niggas about to shoot a nigga. This, they, they just politely. He politely said, man. Shit. They might just shoot niggas down here. Come that on, man. True. Kennesaw. Come on, bro. Isn't it, isn't it uh, illegal for you not to own a yeah. firearm in Kennesaw? Yeah, you have to have a firearm. In the house. Yeah. In the house. Yeah. Come on, man. But check this out. So, manager comes. He was like this. Sir, it's just not ready. Money, please. Money, please. <laughs> Motherfucker, no words. He just handed him the ticket, got the money. Another white dude came in line. He was like this. How long is the wait? Oh, I think it's about an hour. Did you say an hour? Thank you, ma'am. You have a good damn day. And we'll just walk the fuck out. So I was like, okay, black people do, you know, we, we irritable. Like, <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe this. You know, loud, you know, mm-hmm. so everybody can hear. It's one Mexican guy. It's my nigga. <laughs> Chico B. My it's, my nigga. it's my nigga. This Bato. motherfucker did not speak any English. He cussed these motherfuckers out so much, he started speaking English. <laughs> 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 Bruh. <laughs> Like he, he hey, learned that's the, you the black Puerto Rican man. Come on, give us a try. Give us a He learned the language <laughs> as he was getting guys, he was cussing. Cause like one of the dudes wasn't having it. He was like this, but gone but hell stupid guy, you know, all that shit. Uh, and he was like after a while, he was like, friend, friend, you fucking friend. You my fucking papa. <laughs> like he was learning cause everybody else was talking shit. Uh, and he was just learning just the language. Other people saying. Cause black people was like, man, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, C C C. Hey, you fucking stupid. <laughs> like he was learning. I'm not no Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I'm not he was oh, learning. Shit. Oh shit. Bro, I just sit me and this dude, man, we just sat there, started laughing. I waited my hour, got my shit, and got the fuck on. Hey, but man. it was it was it was popping in Popeyes. Fan, I can't I can't wait for a damn chicken sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Not not a chicken sandwich. Social media, bro. Like a Charlemagne the God posted that shit on his Instagram. Oh, for real? Nigga. That's what's crazy, because I had a co-worker. He'd been talking about this shit for like two months, bro. It's not that damn good to wait an hour. I did it just because I was there, and I was like, fuck it. This nigga really just went and lived out a scene from the Boondocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he didn't get it on tape. Nah, nah, nah. Everybody got a camera phone, my nigga. Bro, no one pulled out the camera phone. Hey, I was laughing, bro. Hey, nigga, everybody ain't got no podcasts and all this shit, bro. bro we why, we, we know, need right? that. What a content, that. man. I I'm going to drop some. No, it's all good. But <laughs> I'm gonna drop time, we need that, but, bro. But white people are funny, man. This one dude told the lady, ma'am, I could have went to the moon and built a Chick-fil-A by now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what playing. What the fuck? Bitch, what is she talking about? What do, you, what do you mean? The black lady laughed. He was like, it's been 45 minutes. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> this motherfucker said he could have went to the moon and back, built all that shit, did all that shit in 45 minutes. The fuck? And he could have Chick fil A. Like, nigga, we have Popeyes. Come on, man. Calm down. <laughs> but, anyways, man, yo, Popeyes, they got him a little buzz going, man. If y'all tried it, it ain't that damn good to wait no fucking hour. Don't do that. This <laughs> The drive through was hitting the highway and shit. Like, it was crazy. So, mm. it ain't hey. worth that. But if you get there, no line, nigga, get it. Hey man, love that chicken pie pie. Come on, man. Hey, Shouts out to the big chicken. Oh, now it's time to get into that big dollar. Ooh, Dame dollar. So, uh, legendary basket. Do you think he's legendary? Yes, yes. It, he didn't close niggas down off game winners, especially the one from this year, like bruh. 30, 40 yeah. feet behind the line. Yeah, yeah. That, bruh, that's certified. He's, that's, that's he's shot at three. 
on Paul George yes. mm. to send them niggas home. home. Looked at the camera on some Game of Thrones shit. What's crazy, bro? Face. That that was the best no meme emotion. for a long yeah. fucking time, yeah. bro. Everybody just in a frenzy. That nigga just got an emotional face, just like bitch. I do this, and it's crazy because he, he looked right <laughs> right after he did. He just looked at the camera. Oh uh, yeah. I was like, when you do that, you can make a rap album. Legendary. You can drop whatever the fuck you want. Facts. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. But, but I you mean, get what I'm saying. But your boy got you skills. can try. But your boy got skills. Uh, Is it mm, safe uh, to say that he might be the best NBA spitter that we've ever heard? NBA? NBA. I don't think that's far-fetched. Nah, because who we got? We got Shaq, we got, we got Shaq. Kobe, we got Chris Webber. Mm-hmm. Uh, crushing. Keep on naming. Uh, who else we have? Allen Iverson did something. Crushing. Kobe, uh, Kobe tried. He said him. Yeah, crushing. Yeah. Then they nigga Kobe got a solid Brock McKnight, man. <laughs> <laughs> he ran out of Brock yeah. McKnight single, bro. Come on, I'm going to tell you something. Kobe had a full star-studded album. It just never dropped because when they heard it, it's probably trash, man. <laughs> you need to know it. So you I, can't tarnish your legacy with that. Nah, bro. Nah. nah. I mean, Everybody my, ain't Shaq. My favorite is, he's not a basketball player, it's Arian Foster. Bro, that, look, look, that's the reason Pino. why I said basketball because Bobby Arian Pino. actually... His album nice. is nice. Actually, that's something that I, I need to listen more to. Yeah, shit. surprisingly good. I heard that nigga. Yeah. Well, like, uh, what's the name of that, uh, that album? Um, it's um shit. Because I think it, I listened it, to it's it too. It's the two roads where Tupac died. I forgot. He named it after. Uh, uh Colville yep. and Flamingo. Damn. This nigga Joe oh, Money Jackson playing, to the rest. Stop playing, man. Stop Damn. playing. We got Joe Money Jackson. Today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens on there, man. Strike. Where my belt? Goddamn. But yeah, man. Um, as far as NBA, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might got the NBA a yeah, lot, bro. But what yeah. you think, Joe? Because your opinion is definitely going to be Man, Damian Lillard, bro. Okay, this album, because I know he got bars, bro. I'm talking about Damian got mm. bars. Now, this album, I ain't going to say that. I don't think the intent was bars. I think the intent was good music, and that's what he delivered. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he has... Singles. He has records that when I hear that, I want to drink in my hand and I want some ass around me. Pretty much. That's the vibe. And I mean, like, he sound good. It sounds effortless. It sounds like flowing water, bro. He sound good on the records. He definitely could flow. He, he outshine Wayne. Do y'all agree or am I tripping? Lil Wayne. Not by far. Lil Wayne had the worst verse. I yeah, I was, about, I was gonna say that because I mean it was like he ain't put up no time. effort and he just got into the booth. And, uh, he did the alien thing. Yeah. I ain't sorry for my foreigns. I ain't sorry that you sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. yeah you got to do way. Better. Sorry, I'm the not name sorry. of the song is sorry, and you just gonna say that shit a bunch of times? Like, come on, bro. Like Wayne, he got destroyed. And he wasn't even like have like no super punch lines, you know what no, I'm saying? It's just flowing vibe, yeah. it's the feel. You know what I'm saying? But he did say some shit, man. What's my joint? Motherfucking what you got? What you got? baggage claim, bro. Mozzie. Mm-hmm. Mozzie. Baggage claim, that just that hook, bro. Flight across the country, get to a bag. Pledge allegiance to the squad, never to a flag. Come yeah, up. on, bro. I thought Mozzie killed him. Moz, you said he killed him? Mozzie's shit was dope. I ain't gonna yeah. say he killed him, but, well. His flow is unique, and he and he got off, you know, he, he got his shit off a lot better. And, and quicker, too. I think he yeah. had 12 bars, I want to yeah. say. Yeah, but, Sacramento. Mozzie, Mozzie is, is a rapper's rapper, though. Rapper, rapper. You know what I'm yep. saying? Now, I haven't heard, I've only heard maybe like three verses from him. And everything that I heard from him is like, okay, I want more. Mm-hmm. He got a whole album with Gunplay. Wow. Yeah. It, it, it's funny it's because bad. we talked about Gunplay on the Rick Ross yeah. joint. Bruh, it's, I ain't going to need flex, man. I be intentionally late with shit. But you got some people out here that need more spotlight. They need more attention. They need more recognition. They need more acknowledgement rather than the same old. I would say with Dame Dollar. Dame. Um, as far as an album, I think. Well, as far as him as an artist, I think he's. I think he can rap. Yes, I think, I think yes. he can rap. Yes. Uh, I don't think he's the greatest. I don't think he's the worst. Like he can rap. I haven't heard him since the letter O. So that was like two years ago. So mm-hmm. I can't really like reference any of those, those tracks it was so I haven't heard it so fucking long but listening to this I think he picked pretty good production he most certainly you know did. what I'm saying the only issue I have with this album and I think it's gonna be across the board for me through the whole album was that it sounded pretty generic you I said like, it sounds generic I ain't mad at that yeah I'm I not did. mad at the assessment at all especially yeah. when I first when I first turned the album on to begin I always listen with earbuds and then I listen to it in the car uh, I felt the exact same way both times when I listened yeah. to the first two tracks they weren't bad. It just didn't catch me like that. Yep. It wasn't until track three that I felt like some life started. I think so too. Track three was bad. Bestie. Playing, right? No, yeah. no, no, that's, that's um, Bestie. 
Bestie. Yeah, Bestie. Bestie. Yeah, bestie my with Bestie benefits. with benefits. Bestie was cool. That was bestie cool, was but cool. It, like, like again, like even though that track had a little buzz, because the first two was like, I'm sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. That shit. And the other one was like, uh, I'm, I'm getting a check. No Nike. About to get me a check. No Nike. I ain't going to lie to you. That, that record was, right there, I, right. I oscillated back and forth between either this is dope or corny. And I, I feel it's, it's dope right in, in one the minute, and then it's like corny. Is because you know, check no night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah that's, that's, that's elementary. That's elementary. the yeah. definition of generic. Like it's right in the middle of being. Is it good? Is it bad? Nah, it's right there. And I was saying it's mm-hmm. right in that fine line I, for me. For me. No, I got you. I got you. Who? Cupid. Cupid is hard. Oh, uh, Cupid's a good track. That like might it. be my favorite. I don't know. It might be. I like Beach. Beach is my shit. Moneyball. Like the know. last two records on this joint are hard. The reggae singing part was my favorite chorus. I don't know it, but he killed that chorus. Like, yeah. He just wanted me on the track. Oh, and Dame Dollar, cool. what is he? Is he? He's. I know he's Cali. I don't know the city. He got a bunch of Cali niggas uh, on his. Uh, I don't know if voice. he's Compton. He's not Compton. Where is Dame from? Where not exactly sure. From? But I would say this. Just looking through the track list, uh, the one song I did like, um, and this is the instrument. The instrument is uh, Ricky Bobby. I like the uh, Mexican horns. Mm-hmm. That when the beat cut off and they're playing little Mexican little horns in the background. I like that shit. It kind of... Spoke to the Spanish in your blood. Maybe. <laughs> it, just, it, it just broke up the monotony. You know what I'm saying? Because it kept sounding like the same song. Literally... Oh, that song "Baggage Claim" goes into another song, and it's the same instrumental. Mm-hmm. It's like on, it's like slow down in a different sequence, but it's like the same fucking instrument. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So for me, it's like, damn, bro, man, this nigga born on my sister's birthday, July fifteenth, and he is Oakland. Uh, he is definitely Cali. Oakland. Okay. He got a lot of Cali niggas on his projects. Yeah, big so. ups to Dame, though, man. I mean, like, I don't know, man. It's he did his thing. He did his thing. I mean, he's. A professional basketball player, and yeah. a lot. Th- this album to me, it sounds better than a lot of shit that I have heard from professional hip hop artists. Yeah, so I, I, I give him, it, Yeah, yeah, I, I give him props on that specifically. And you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to be stellar in multiple things. It's very hard That's to be top point. tier. In there we go, bro. Things. That's yeah. my point. Um, so for him to be as great of a basketball player. As he is, and the amount of time that it takes that, to create that. There we go. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like the project was solid. Yeah. I was actually very pleasantly surprised. And I already knew that he could rap because I heard his freestyle. Him and who was uh who was he beefing with? Rap beefing. You know, kind of taking shots back and forth. I didn't know he had a beef with him. It wasn't a real beef. He was just, you know, they talking shit on the record. It was another basketball player, I believe. Who dropped the record. Iman <laughs> Shepherd, by chance. No, well, Iman, Iman. Hey, Iman does did rap though. Yeah, I know that's yeah, what's up from him. He was, he was super trash. I didn't. Yeah, I about to say what I heard from him was. <laughs> Yo, you heard his uh, Iman Shumpert is on Genius rating bars, and he gives what? all of his bars just a five. And I'm listening to the bars that he's rating like a two, a three, oh. and then you rating your bar five over these other bars. So he done lost his motherfucking oh, mind. Yeah, you know, so ain't no beef with Iman. I think sometimes he cool. Sometimes his music is cool. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I ain't, Hit and miss. I ain't heard much from him to, you know what I'm saying, want to hear some more from him. <laughs> I just put it like that. Bro, I heard a song. And I think his wife's on it or some shit. His wife is amazing. Yes, That's all he times at times is just a song, a verse. All yeah. I need to hear is just your, basically your mind frame. He's not like a rapper rapper. He's, it's, uh, Swag I, rapper? Yeah. yeah. What I got, look at me. I Tell don't. me what you see. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, Dame Doll is definitely better than that nigga. Easy. Um, Easy. 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 So, uh, yeah, I thought, like I said, that was solid. Nice, quick project. You know, he didn't drag it on 10 records. Just enough. You know what I'm saying? 30 minutes. Um, like I said before, first two was kind of, eh. uh, then after that, it was like, okay. And, and, and the what's the third record? The one with the uh, bestie. the bestie, the bestie joint. The only issue I had with the bestie is I hear that chord progression on every song, bro. Hmm. It's generic, yes. Y'all, y'all now, the hook, I like that. the hook, huh. <laughs> Y'all refuse to say that's kind of generic. Like no, I said it. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. I, I wouldn't yeah, say no, no. that throughout the whole album. Okay, that's why I disagree with you. But I feel like definitely the first three songs, when it comes to the tracks uh, in specific, is generic. Yeah. Well, I mean the topics are so it's money, girls. Hey man, I this album know. better than Chance, Mike. I will listen to this way more than Chance. Way more. <laughs> way more than Chance. <laughs> Easy. I'm gonna listen to Chance in a couple of weeks when I go to my boy's re- wedding reception. I'm Last just gonna... chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with that bitch. I was like, "Hey, press play." 
Because <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 what, that's what it's made for. Uh, Hold up. This is cool, though. You know what, though? I mean, and this is off topic, but it's on topic because we're talking about Chance. I listened to God. the YBN Corday album. Is that how you Great pronounce it? Great album. Uh, Amazing you mentioned that album. To me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll talk me. about that at the gym. The Lost bro. Boy. Uh, man, that album is phenomenal. And Great. YBN actually has a record with Chance on there. And is it's good. Right? It's dope. It's good. So it should have been on the album. Yes. <laughs> bro, yes. it's almost like Chance, I don't know what happened. He got married and he just started fucking up. You know when niggas just get somewhere and they start fucking up? <laughs> God damn, man. You just got married, Mike. So it's don't fuck fucking up. up. Mike, That's what don't I'm saying. Fuck up. I mean, I don't know what happened, but I don't want to get on chance. I no, no, bad. I'm not trying to get, like, I, I, I just wanted to give him props and praise yeah. for that record because he did the production. He's responsible for the production and his verse was stellar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's chance. Please give me more of that. That's all I'm saying, my brother. Shouts out to you. Uh, but I think shouts out to Dame too for this, man. I thought it was a solid offer. It definitely was. Right, around definitely the table. Was. Start with X. Go uh, I'm going to give it a seven. Fair. That's mine. Six and a half. At most. I'm not mad at six and a half. Yeah. Nah, man, it's above average. Dope. Um, That's Like cool. I said, bro, I know he got bars. I've heard this man spit. He didn't give us bars. He gave us just more, like, records. Mainstream. He, yeah, yeah, He went yeah. for a mainstream style. He even has some, like, he got songs for the girls. He got songs for the guys. You know how they do that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, He used, you know, trap instrumentals. He used R&B type instrumentals. Like, I'm pretty sure X can explain that a little bit better, but, you know, together as a whole is cohesive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's like... I thought the sequencing was uh, pretty good. Mm, uh, yeah. I, I felt like it flowed for for what was on there. I thought he arranged it well. Yeah, um, I thought he did good. I just, I, I just think, I think he's good. And I, my, I don't know if my score reflects that, but it's just not something I'm gonna go back to time and time again. Do you like this album better or Ross's album better? Um, pretty close to even. The only thing is, is that with Ross, I man, I, I just don't want to hear that sound anymore. Was weird. It, it, that sound played out to me where this sound, even though it was like prevalent through all of hip hop, like I could hear this in my car rather than hmm. Ross. I, I mean, will listen, about yeah, even, I will listen to this album more than I will to Ross. No flex. I listen to the Ross album more. Oh no! Well, oh, like no, I said, no. uh, my my seven was predicated on the fact that of exactly what he was saying about the sound being done already. Like, I, I'm judging Ross against Ross. Hmm. Like, I try to judge rappers exactly. against their own bodies of work. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I, I, I like you for the reasons like you. I like this person for the reasons like him. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't think it's fair for me to always try to compare Kendrick to Cole to Drake. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, uh, what's the point? True, 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 true. true. No, no. Sometimes we can. I mean, you know, those kind of debates. But yeah. Yeah, for the most part, if I'm judging just your body of work, just off if I like it or not, uh, I'm judging you against your own stuff, man. Indeed. So you set your own bar. Indeed. So if you don't want me to do nah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to yeah, get yeah, off yeah. of it, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make good music and you be alright. That's all I got. To say. <laughs> I want to know what you're gonna say, nah, bro. Nah, Pull nah, that shit nah, out, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. No more Corolla music, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, hey, you, nah. you better, you better quit with the Corolla lines. Uh, the internet like gonna get down the ass. Hey, bro, he Corolla got a though. classic Corolla line. <laughs> bro, do you remember that, Mike? Bro, I made a diss track to my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> what? Yeah, I roasted the shit out of her. She kept talking crazy. I forgot how, how did it what go? What he say? It's just a rhyme. She like, said, "Mike, can I come over?" Nah, you want to get in my Corolla? Always want to talk on my fucking Motorola. <laughs> hey, bro, that's how throwback it was, bro. <laughs> they said Motorola. Well, I, I had like a squirrel line. I can't remember that oh, shit. I just shit. remember the Corolla. Man. Bro, that was slick. That's the slickest shit you ever said, Man, I freestyled, to the, I freestyled that shit while recording and talking to her on the phone. It was crazy. And then Classic I, memory, Then I sent bro. it to her. Classic memory. I walk in the building. I walk in the room right once he finished. No lie. And then Bruh. press play. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to what's today? Uh, uh, Roz. Big ups to Roz, man. Big ups to Roz. Hell yeah. Uh, Hilarious. Ah, oh, man. Before we go on another topic, y'all, real quick, what's man. Up? Three Six Mafia. These boys done got back, y'all. Y'all heard That's about that? Waiting. Yeah. You heard about With that? With Bone Thugs and DMX. Man. Yeah. They this playing my heart strings. Man. <laughs> That shit is gonna be dope. That's a dope ass lineup. Man, I'm gonna miss somebody. Hopefully he show up. Hopefully he be there. Who? Busy. If he ain't there, man, you really ain't got bone. We need crazy or busy to there be there. There we go. You have to have those. There two. we go. If it's just wishing lazy, nigga, that's not bone. <laughs> lazy nigga, wishing. Nigga, you not bone. Nigga, you not bone. Wow, that was a throwback <laughs> song. You stupid as hell. You stupid as hell. Uh, you, you need the main two, man. But anyways, man, shout outs to Dame Dollar. Shout out to Dame Dollar. Yes, sir. Um, 
Shouts out to Dame Dash. Mm. Uh, I wonder how he feels about the current events going on in, in the world today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, there's a lot going on. Yeah, man. Which one do you want to tackle like... first? What we tackle? Shit, man. I mean, uh, let's, let's, let's tackle uh, his, his current, well, his ex business partner. <laughs> Ho! <laughs> man, I, I hope they get cool one day, man, because they, they, they were a legendary team, man. Oh, for sure. I think it's going to happen. Legendary team. I think, um, I think that's one of those, uh, that's one of those falling outs that it's inevitable. Like, it has to. History cannot correct itself it, until my, that's reconciled. It's weird because you would like to decade, think right? that, but if a motherfucker keep on doing shit like this, I don't know. I mean, people, it's a lot of mixed reviews about this subject right here, bro. Oh, yeah. I slick be. don't even know I, me personally, I gotta let time go by to find out what because I mean, time always tells the the final tale. Yeah. But just off of what has been exposed, man, this don't it, it don't sit right with me, man. And I think that's the main issue. So, like, if we if we're, we're talking about the NFL and Rock Nation deal, for anybody that needs to know, um, Jay Z, Roger Goodell sat down and like they fucking developed a partnership. best friends. Well, well I you, mean, you know, appearances and stuff like that is important. Body like. You, okay, well, we I'm read sorry. that body language. We were, I read Roger very well, but um, so it's all because in 2016, what what, what my man Colin No Cap do? Man, he's, he kneeled, he took a knee, he pulled a Tebow on y'all ass he, during the national anthem. Tebow, <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, what, what, when are we gonna talk about Tebow? No, 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 no because right bro, Tim Tebow, if y'all remember his yeah. motherfucking ass, you know when he was kneeling. Of course, it was like the greatest thing since sliced white bread. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Joe so, Money. Jackson. Man, it's just the truth. And I Message. mean, Cat, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, Super Bowl quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Can't get a job, can't get no plays. Well, Dude. Let's break it down. Go ahead. Because cause, cause before before we just dive into it, let's unpack it a little bit. Colin yes. Kaepernick, he kneeled for all of 2016, 2017. He got his last check. Why did he kneel, bro? Oh, Neil, for racial injustice and s- systematic oppression for everything. They, he uh, Neil specifically there we to go, bring X. awareness to, to black and brown people dying at the hands of police. Yeah, there we go. Unarmed. Unarmed. Unarmed Can't civilians. The unarmed. Yeah. Yes, we got to include that because what the fuck? Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. So that's, yeah. The, that's the whole thing. It's a protest, mm-hmm. right? So And protests are very legal people. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very legal. It's a part of your American yeah. rights. The right? reason why America is even here is because they protested and revolted against the British. <laughs> One of the most celebrated events in American history. Independence Day. Hmm. The Boston Tea Party. <laughs> Boston Tea Party. Matter of fact, they protested and they did it violently. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 they broke other people's shit. Whoop that trick. <laughs> Beat that bitch. Hustle Got me yakking bucket shit. Hey, I was hey. telling me to calm down, and I'm like, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck that shit. At that's the tea party. Hey, that's the goddamn national anthem right there. Right there. Da, 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 da. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Man, black folks, once we get our shit together, bro, our national anthem gonna be hard as fuck, bro. Yeah. Oh, facts. Hard as fuck. Facts. Bro. Well, the, 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 the black national anthem is dope. No, I'm talking about. We got one. It's I'm talking dope. about the it's new. It is, it is, it is. I don't it's know it like respected. that. Respect it. Every boy dope, bro. That's dope. That's dope. It is. Like, that's like a like nasty bass line on it, though, man. We don't you know need a bass line on the anthem, bro. Screw that mug, bro. Come on, man. Yo, I, I, I slick my throw some 808s in the mug. Do you feel me? Okay. You feel so me? So we need a full band when we do this shit. Every we, time. Hey, all right, all right. hey he said flip. the full band and Ricky Smiley got to be the drum major. God damn. <laughs> that that, that should be hard, bro. That should be hard, bro. Y'all so, but anyways, <laughs> anyways, back to Jay. We, we are good at doing that shit. Hey, man, we're so, but, hey, man. Yeah, back to home. That's what we home. do. So yeah. three years later, 2016, 2019, our man Jay-Z, uh, even though he has applauded Colin Kaepernick in the past for not... Uh, more for, kneel- for kneeling. Um, he's told many people to not do the halftime show personally. I mean, he's told these people. No, no, mm-hmm. specifically. Let's, let's, bro, this uh, motherfucker. Travis call, Scott. This uh, nigga Cardi called B. Jermaine Dupree, bro. Mm-hmm. He called Jermaine Dupree and it's like, yo, you gonna do the halftime show? I can't do Jay. I ain't gonna even try that shit. Nah. But he said to Jermaine it wouldn't be a good idea. In a matter of fucking days, weeks, months, in the same fucking year, he's like, Doing a deal with him, I don't know what to. Th- no, I know exactly what to think he about that. He definitely didn't get the same deal that Jay got. We know that. So whatever JD had going on, it was not what. JD I mean, of had course, going. man. Jermaine Dupree, fact- bro. The Super Bowl was in Atlanta. It was just gonna be some halftime yeah. show shit. Yeah. It wasn't no business major moves or after this day we got to see each other again. It's just you know halftime show and 
cut the check and get yeah. the fuck on. I think he just wanted to be a part of the halftime show, trying to bring back artists and shit like that for Atlanta. Yeah, let's 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 throw that back again there for yeah. Atlanta. But let's okay. So Jay Z, mm-hmm. Rock yeah. Nation. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's fast forward. Yeah. Uh, made a deal with the NFL, Roger Goodell, yeah. to bring back. They have a uh, NFL has an initiative. It's called the uh, I think the Ch- Inspire Change Initiative. I think that was, that's what it's called, and it's to amplify on you know the racial injustices that's going on in the league and you know so awareness. I can, I can read specifically. Okay, um, this is according to Sports Illustrated. Holla. Uh It says that the NFL announced the formation of the Entertainment and Social Justice Partnership. With Jay Z's group Rock Nation last week, uh, the deal makes Rock Nation co-producers of the Super Bowl halftime show and gives the group the power to choose entertainers to perform at NFL content throughout the season, as well as the opportunity to work with the league's current social justice campaigns, among other things. Yeah, and hey, also man. the the Change the Spy initiative, like that. Mm-hmm. that hey, said, yeah. that's that's you know that's, that's part of the social hard, social yeah. oh, social thing. Yeah. Am I the only one that smell that? What bullshit? But, that bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean. Listen, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm a gonna line. Check it off. I'm gonna take a line from Jay. I, I I know it's like people want to make it so black and white. Either you with Cap, either with Jay, but right Jay, or wrong. Yeah, but this is this is Jay, right? So Kaepernick, he knew, he protested, he got awareness. What did Jay Z do? He took that. I mean, he's probably capitalizing off that. He's a capitalist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Capping the, off Cap. But I mean, he said it best, man. What that nigga told Nas. You made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. Take your shit, and I'm going to make it better. He's done this with Rockefeller Records and Form Rock Nation. He even in his bars, he says, I'm not a businessman. I'm, I'm a, a businessman. Business man. Man. And there business we go. Damn. I was waiting for my time to jump in that motherfucker because but, you cannot, like... I don't know, man. It ain't about spirituality or whatever, but when it comes to business, bro, there is like no morals. There's no morality in business. Motherfuckers die starving because of a good business decisions. And that's sort of like my thing with him, bro. Like, I just feel that this dude, I don't know, man. But I mean, just just look at his position. He's all about actionable items. It's, and, it, and it's I what did he said. That. That's the reason why he's I like called. Him. He said he called Colin. He said he called Colin Kaepernick. I don't know that. He, that's what he said. I, I, again, I don't know that. ESPN, but I would know if he was right there with Gardell and Jay. I would know that. I mean, listen, man. The Colin Kaepernick not being involved in the NFL is fucked up. Him being blackballed is definitely fucked up. We're past kneeling. I mean, that's Are now we? what what I'll say about that. What I'll say about Jay saying we're past kneeling because I listened to the entirety of what he had to say. Yeah. If you jump off of what he said, I do believe that in that moment, his phrasing was off. Okay. I don't think that he should have said it that way. Not if you continue to listen to what he said, he he gave you more context to what he meant by we're past kneeling. It's Jay's, about the results. It's about the results. It's like, okay, yes, we brought awareness. Great. Phenomenal. Colin did a great thing. All the rest of these players that knelt did a great thing. Now what? And I feel like that is the part that a lot of us miss. I feel like we are slaves to symbols and symbolism. We want we want the signal. Niggas would rather have a statue than a gun. You understand what I mean when I say that? Yeah, Niggas absolutely. would rather have something that memorializes a moment that's something that you can you can eat with. You can defend yourself with. You can feed your table with. Like, where's your tangible result? You know what I think niggas want more than anything? Niggas still want a spot at the table, at their table, rather than building your own. Okay, so that's a that's a good point. Now that's an interesting now, point. Now because you let me tell you who's somebody that's building their own? Mm-hmm. Ice Cube. Okay. Oh Big shit, three. Tyler Perry, Oprah. No, no, no. Wait, 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 I mean, like, let me let's just let's okay. use Ice Cube. Let's just okay. use Ice Cube. Let's just use Ice Cube because the big three. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, man. We can create our own league, bro. Like, we don't need these motherfuckers. They need us. We are the human resource. You know he has, and like, that, white people helping him, right? Of course, yeah. but, bro, what I'm... Bro, this He's is talking a about system. What are you controlling? Yeah, yeah, that's what it boils down to, man, because it's like, man, that's how hip-hop was created. Hip-hop was created because we want to be accepted by y'all. We want to do music with y'all. We want to be in y'all bands and in y'all groups and all this shit, and y'all like, fuck us. So it's like, Fuck y'all! I'm a bang on this goddamn table right here, and I'm a hip, a hoppin'. 
That type so, of shit. So, uh, okay, I, I get what you're saying about building our own, creating your own shit. That's, that's good. That always sounds great in theory. But when we get down into the practical application of things, look at a situation like the big three. The big three, dope concept, dope idea. He's, he's running strong right now. It seems to be growing in popularity. Yeah. The people that are playing in the big three are not getting paid nearly, not even a fraction probably, of what they were making when they were playing in the NBA. They're retired. You're, you're very right. Yeah, they're past their prime. I but mean, you know, well, even, even still, the big three is not generating the revenue. Not yet. Necess- not I, yet. I, maybe. That, there's yeah, a, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 that's a possibility. True. That is so. Know, let's say, know. let's say theoretically, Jay Z was to say, you know what, fuck this, I'm just going to go start my own league. How many niggas do you know that are going to take the pay cut necessary to join Jay Z in his league? You know what? I guess this is what it boils down to, man. You can't serve two masters. I'm gonna quote the Bible on that, man. Because if it's all about the money, yeah. then goddamn. That's what the sellout is. What we, man, I, I, I'll put it to you like this. Let me, I want to gather this shit and say it right, bro. It's like, we are so motherfucking spoiled. We are so lazy. We are so weak compared to our grandparents during the civil rights movement and when they received their injustice because they said, fuck you, I'll walk. And they walked to work 20, 30 miles they to walked make until. a point. They walked yeah, until. Yeah, yeah, they walked until till they got a result. Indeed. But I'm so still, what would be the difference fight- between that and what's happening right now? Right, right, but the difference is, it's not even a difference. It's the same fucking fight. So basically, it's like, again, we're trying to fight for room and respect and honor at their table. And we keep getting the same result. So me being who I am, man, I respond accordingly or just me, my ideas anyway. I would want to do my own thing. You know what I mean? So Joe, you so you speaking about and the work that you, it would require to do that is just mm-hmm. the work that it would take. You know, that's what I'm comparing back to our, our grandparents mm-hmm. and stuff. They put in the work, mm-hmm. you know, but go ahead. No, no, I, I got you. So you speaking about the difference between sitting at somebody else's table and making your own. And while I don't agree while I don't disagree with that in theory, I fucks with that ideology. The reality is, is that we can make our own table, but the table is still going to be in their house. So I dig if that. something I is in that. somebody else's space, they still have the power to do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. But that's what they're doing right now anyway. That's my point. So one of the things that I've always respected about Jay, this is the difference between Jay and Dame. And I respect both of them. For their individual personalities. But Dame is in your face. Dame is aggressive. Dame is, you're going to know who I am. You're going to know that I'm here. And you're going to respect me, motherfucker. Or I'm going to walk over your bitch ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's a limited approach. But go ahead. It is. And that's my point. Jay-Z is a nigga that knows how to move in a room full of vultures. So when we speak about Jay in this business move. Which business doesn't have to necessarily be morally bankrupt. They're not necessarily aligned at all times. But that doesn't mean that they're necessarily enemies of each other. When you look at any movement, there always has to be financiers to any movement. Even with the civil rights movement. Funny thing about the civil rights movement is a lot of the funding that came for the civil rights movement didn't come from the, the uber elite. It didn't come from the black bourgeois. It didn't come from the church. Shit came from bootleggers. She came from people that were doing quote unquote questionable activities. Hmm. But those are the niggas that are funding the things that are uh, changing cultural norms for our, our community. That sounds like some Robin Hood shit. Yeah. I mean, you could look at it that way for sure. Yeah, I, for I was, sure. I was, well, go, no, finish your point. Yeah, so my point is, is that when you look at the long game, and I've said this before in this podcast, either you're going to play the game or you're going to build your own. But if you're going to play the game, which if you operate in this country, if you go to work, if you pay taxes, you're playing the game. You're in the game. This is all monopoly. This is all monopoly money. This shit ain't real. So if you're going to play anyway, why not play to win? Jay-Z is in a prime position to actually make some things happen. That right there. Uh, yeah. No, all I'm going to say is uh, what, what X is saying is pretty true. He, you want to work on the inside and try to solve the problems with, with, within the organization rather than try to, I guess, separate yourself from the NFL and try to work out work 
from the outside. Specifically from well, the and I'll let you, specifically from the standpoint of niggas are still playing in the NFL. And, and I get that. And I Eric that. Reed as much Yo, negative shit as he, he has to say about NFL. him. Hey, nigga, you took the check. Hey, not only that, but he talking shit while he was tweeting. He was like, "You bet, right? I'm gonna play in the NFL, but I'm gonna be a pain, a pain in their ass." I'm like, well. You almost contradict yourself a little bit. <laughs> Man, life's contradictory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but I would say this. I think the optics on Jr. are going to be bad. You have to understand what he's doing can be... We don't even know the particulars of what's going on with of the course. deal. Man, of course. They, but, but, but check this out, Joe, because I know you're going to get your shit off. But the optics look bad. When he said, we're past kneeling. When he said, um, do I help millions or am I worried about Colin get a job? Some of his verbiage... Was kind of eh, could have been I worded better. I absolutely agree with the Colin I, aspect though, because that nigga should have been better. Colin, this it's ain't, was never about Colin to begin I with. I know it's about, but th- but think about how everybody's looking at it. You're just, you're seeing it yourself. Mm-hmm. When when he said that shit, most even celebrities were like, "Oh my god, mm-hmm. I can't believe it." But he has a decent point. The problem is that when you say it like that, you sound like a house nigga. You really do. Man, you, you sound like not you're just for that, bro. But it's even like, when you're not, even though you're working in your own lane, trying to improve, like pretty much improve what Colin Kaepernick is doing. If you polarize on a statement and take things out of context, yes, you sound like a house nigga. If you listen to the speech or the the pre- whatever you want to call it when he sat down with the media, if you listen to everything in context, he sounds like somebody that has an idea and basically you're going to have to wait and see what happens. Exactly. I mean, Charlamagne right the God is, asked that question. Charlamagne the God is the one to ask the question. What if, because we... The, in the conversation, Jay Z actually has the opportunity potentially to ha- be an owner in an NFL team. Man, so what if, he, what, what if he gets that ownership and he hires Colin? What are we going to say about Jay Lynn? Well, the problem with just judging a book by its cover is that you might have to, you know, eat crow. With but Jay crow. said that. Jay said he's used to this. He, niggas been talking about him his that, whole life. Niggas had something to say about the Rock situation. Niggas have had something to say about even when he was president of the Def Jam. Some of the things I that he had got for him, DMX. See, and that's I what I'm talking that. about, man. That's where him and DMX got into the beef. Or DMX yeah. start tearing up on him. Now, if we just use DMX and we use Jay Z, these two artists. I'm just gonna go on the music right. right here. DMX puts his soul on the record. I don't even know if Jay has a soul, bro. The closest thing uh, to a soul. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Song cry. Make nah, bro, because this is just how this is Joe Money. These are just my he, thoughts. He's not man. an energetic MC. No, it, no it's no. not he's, even. He's talking about DMX's content, but DMX's content is DMX's content, bro. I don't think that it's fair to judge Jay and and question not whether he has a soul simply because he doesn't he's a pray on business, records. Business man, he and when became it comes to a bi- business. Exactly. Hey, so I mean, you know, in the process of him growing his business, you said that he got rid of his homeboy, or him and his homeboy split up the beef, and we clearly know that Jay wouldn't be Jay without Dame. And even Facts. though, even though Jay said it in the rhyme, niggas talking about they made hove. If that's so, make another hove. It don't work Ugh. like that, my nigga. That nigga said, "Put me anywhere on God's green earth. Watch me trip on my." And butt, you know why? You know why he'll do that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know it's that? not. It's not He's just not. smarts. It's not just smarts because he is smart. I'm yeah. not gonna just act like Jay's not brilliant, man. I just don't trust it, bro. Because and, see, and that's the optics. Why? The I'm gonna tell, tell you why. Tell I'm, gonna tell, why. Tell, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. This is quoting dead prayers, bro. And this is just mm. how I feel because they always hit us with this. Dead shit. prayers, the real one. You can't fool all the people all of the time, but if you fool the right ones, then the rest will fall behind. Mm. Tell me who's got control in your mind and worldview? Is it the news or the movie you taking your girl to? And I feel that they always, you know, it's a gatekeeper. It's always a gatekeeper. Whether it's Steve Harvey, whether it's Oprah Winfrey, whether it's Tyler Perry, whether it's Jay-Z. Because Puffy, he was just trying to get, like, partial ownership with the Panthers. Oh. Why they shut him down? Nigga, he ain't had the money. They they shut him down real quick. No, 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 hold on. Let, <laughs> let's let's even take it even further. Money. How is Jay-Z the first billionaire? I thought Dr. Dre was the first no, no, billionaire. No, 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 no. So, so that, that Beats by Dre deal with Apple... He didn't get the whole cut. I think he got about 800, 600 million, yes. something like that. He didn't get the whole cut. Not only that. But it was I, worth a billion. Not only that, just this is just the way I think, y'all. I, I, I oh, think no, we fuck with me. it. Go ahead. I feel that, like how you said, X, mm-hmm. this is Monopoly. They not, if you are a real threat or if you, bro, they don't want change because change is them losing control, them losing power, them losing the white man's world. That's change to them. These folks are trying to preserve and trying to keep this power, man. And it's like, they are not, 
They not I giving this shit this. up. I would say this. Let me get let me get this shit off real quick. Mm-hmm. I think we're so focused on Jay and Colin Kaepernick. We 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 fail to realize that the NFL and the owners are the real villains in this situation. And the fact that the that NFL got Jay Z to be the face now of the racial injustice, it completely turned the PR from dumb to who. To him, to Jay, like these are moves that they make. Even with that being said, yes, yeah, the so, body so, so, That's exactly what it is. So you, you're focused on Jay. Jay I, you know what? At first, I thought, man, Jay's a house house jigger, house. You know what I'm saying? House nigga, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, yo, this is crazy. But the more I read about it, Joe, I'm be honest with you, it seems like he's really working some intricate shit to try to make the situation Bruh. better. I think it's Colin not being involved. He said he called him. We don't know. Colin not being involved in his tweet saying keep kneeling or something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the tweet exactly verbatim. I think it's those little things and people's optics on, oh my God, Jay's being shady. Is this what happens? You know what I'm saying? You're working with the devil? I'm like... That's what happened, bro. The business... Business God what, is not involved in business. The devil is. I know, but let's take let's just take the God and devil out. What would you like, at Colin Kaepernick? He did his move. He he made he got a settlement with the NFL. Right? Yeah, that, uh, the, and that, million, that was that was slick shady. That too. just happened in February. Yeah. Let's not act like that shit was yeah, a that's, year that's ago. Slick, that's suspect too. That, yeah, nigga, that's be honest, suspect. Ain't nobody's calling that the question though. No, and he got to deal with Nike. Nike made six billion off that campaign that he was involved in. Whether he got royalties off that, you but he know de- he did. But he definitely got a check, and that campaign was worth $6 billion. I looked that shit up. I was very impressed with how much Colin sold for them niggas. So we're painting Colin as this super, like, hero. And he is. He, he, he fucking is. But he has some shit, too. You know what I'm saying? He's done some shit where he got a check. Jay-Z happens to be in a position to actually make, like he said, actionable items bigger change. And sadly, it doesn't involve college. What is the bigger change? Well, I'm going to let X get this shit off. No, well, basically, I think the bigger change is putting certain people in position, hiring more people that look like us in position uh, with, like I say, hiring Colin could be something. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a plethora of things that I might not even be able to think about that maybe he has the foresight on. The point is, nothing can be done unless you do have a seat at the table. Nothing. If you're going to be involved with that league, if you're going to be involved with the institution. I mean, if you're going to, Joe, so we no, see, no, you, you, you play, you play fantasy football, right? I'm listening. You play fantasy football. Uh, oh, right. right. So cool you then. fuck with the NFL, right? Yeah. <laughs> there so you go. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is it that yeah. you would like to see? Uh, what yeah, I, what I want is I want to watch football. Okay. Football without the fuck shit. And what that means is, I mean, like, if basically, nah, bro, to answer your question, I want my own league. And of course, bro, this this is just me, bro. It's just how I think, bro. I think that, bro, we we make we run the world when it comes to like what's cool, what's hot, so on and so forth. Everybody wanna be a nigga, but don't nobody wanna be a nigga. I just want our own shit, regardless to what it takes, bro, because we already dying already. We already fucked up already. We already fighting already. Just my nigga, ownership is an hard. illusion though. Ownership is an illusion. Particularly in this Bruh, country, let, let me have nigga, that you illusion. can't you let can't collect it. rainwater, my G. I that's the, to collect something that God creates that falls from the fucking sky. Even if that's, that the case, even if that's the case, that's the case. That's taking you to jail. We got a bigger problem. And that's what it all boils down to, man. When it boils down to, is like, yo, man. I don't know, man. I just it's it's weird, bro. It's I weird. I'm just saying you have to affect things where you can affect them, how you can affect them. We're so busy. I, do you think that these people, the powers that be, really care about us being mad? For real? I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Outrage is a form of currency right now, my G. Bruh. They hold on, hold on, on us. Repeat that one more time. Outrage is a form of currency. God damn. Bruh, controversy they get excited. Nike, Nike saw a business opportunity Six in billion. conflict dealing with black people and our plight and our anger and outrage. We're so fucking outraged that the second that Colin signed that deal, we said, oh, Nike is the, is the new uh, uh, that was religious crazy. will go hey, everywhere. Even though they still got sweatshops in China. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Hey. That's my only point. I'm not. And, and the thing is, I, Joe, you said that yeah. we are all hypocrites, and I completely agree with you. We, we are. are. We, we are. are. But, but the kind of, of hypocrite that I can respect is the hypocrite that is is at least hypocritical when it comes to their own self interest. You put your own self interest above the interest of others. I can respect self preservation. That's what we have to be about. 
And that to me is what this move and many other moves that are like this, when you play the long game, when you figure out that you have to, like Jay-Z has said, knowing how to move in a room full of vultures, like Mm. just trying to go out here and be on your own and do your own shit. When you look at, we have a practical model right now in the world that we can look at what doing your own shit and being your own and just being a fucking rebel and bucking against the system gets you. You want to know what that is? Give me that. Who that? Haiti. Mm. You look at Haiti right now, Haiti, and I have mad respect for Haiti and but what they were damn, able to accomplish. Bro, it's, mad it's, respect. It's, it's, it's man, was it's God. Them it's niggas great, said bro. they bucked them and told the yeah, French they, get they the got the fuck out of the country. island. Hell yeah, and I'm with that shit, bro. But at the same man, I mean, I put it to you like, damn, but look man, at them economically so right now, bro. bro life they is suffering. not. J- they suffering. Damn, 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 damn. I would I, say this. I get what y'all saying, but why Clef is raising money over here in America for fucking Haiti because of the economic conditions that they're going on? So yeah, what do bad. we do? We keep on like being the white man's bitch? No, See, that's what I'm saying. What you ain't gotta, gotta be the white be man's bitch. bitch. Yeah, what you bitch. have to do is know how to leverage your own shit so that you are as much in control as possible. The resources are the resources. You have to know how to finesse and know how to strategically align yourself. Right now, nah, man, it ain't you're about finesse. It. It's you're, about you're gorilla, bro. The, that, bro, the white man. Gorilla has warfare? The pop- Trojan no, no, horse? Not, not just, not just <laughs> Jay Z <laughs> right now. What I'm basically. Oh, he said the Trojan that, horse. That, that, that's oh. amazing. From the beginning, Hopefully. before I spoke, Hopefully. before I spoke, I said time is going to tell how I. I'm just speaking on what I. My, my, bro, this is coming from my heart, not my brain. You know what I'm saying? I got two okay. different thoughts and two different ideas because I hear what y'all saying as yeah. of if this dude actually makes the change. Some just tell it's, me. It, it looks shady. Bruh. Honestly. Bruh, I, I smell. Bruh, I know what bullshit smells. Bruh. I don't, and then y'all know I just think different, yeah. man. I just but think different, bruh. I honestly think, and I'm, I'm not playing. Once you reach a certain level, econ- well, financially, I really think you're just moving with a different crowd. Like I really think you become no, it's certain. The, it, it's on some not it's on it's on some Willy Wonka shit. They send you the golden ticket, nigga. Come here. Let me show you how the world really works. Mm-hmm. Let me show you what goes on in the fucking chocolate factory. Why them niggas eat, bro? I'm Michael telling you, Jackson. man. They move so differently because no, of course the way Jay Z is moving now. I can't. I'm a, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna connect just what you said because he's moving with them, right? He, well, he's Michael moved, Jackson he's, he's and Tupac. Them. I'm a conspiracy theorist. Michael Jackson and Tupac. I feel they got murked by motherfuckers, and both them niggas got a song called "They Don't Give a Fuck About Us." So if he's rocking with them that don't give a fuck about us, does he? No, really? no, no. But you got, and you got, I'm asking. I'm not being a smart ass. He's, he definitely he, he's done tons of charitable charitable because that my he's question done a lot. my question he's bro you know motherfuckers can do shit for you with with without pure intent ill intent there I, we go I, I get so it. so that's basically where I'm at I'm in the middle because time will I, tell you we're can, in the middle if you the Every, truth you can never know go ahead Mike no no I'm just saying everybody's in the middle we don't know what Jay Z is actually going to do. None of the particulars are, are even released. We have no idea what the agenda is. We do know what's planned as far as like on, on like you know the racial like what he's what he's going to do. There's no. So plan why did he tell Jermaine Dupree not to goddamn? Who do the said Super that Bowl? shit? Was that Funk Flex? Funk Flex said. See that man, shit. nigga, Funk Flex is trash. Listen, that nigga. Why is he Flex? Because he that trash? nigga, remember he sent that text when he talked shit about Jay Z and then yeah. it said this hove. And that shit blew up. The, nigga, that could have been your mama saying this. So he's always he's always yeah, doing some yeah. shit for likes. That nigga Funk Flex. It's hard for me to trust him. And even if Jay, it's hard for you even to trust him, did, but you oh, trust Jay Z. It's Funk Flex. Yeah, 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 that's a whole different. That's a whole different. No, but I'm asking y'all. Move. Do y'all trust Jay Z? Listen, do you trust Obama? He's never given me a reason not to. Do I trust who? Obama or Lil Wayne? I don't that's trust now. One. You don't trust Obama? I don't trust. You asked me, I answered. I don't. Joe Money don't trust now. But what I'm saying, who would you trust more? Who would I trust more? Funk Flex and Maybe Jay-Z. Wayne. Hmm. Maybe Wayne. Okay. Why? Why? Because I know where Wayne comes from. I know Wayne is more relatable to me being hungry. Um, just He's never we, been hungry, man. Just more He's been relate- rich since he was like 12. Say what? He's been rich since he was 12. Wayne? Yeah, yeah, bro, he, bro, bro, he's but, never. Nah, that was yeah. about to say, bro. Come on, Mike. I, go I moved far. down here. I mean, no, and I'm saying he was very young when he got his deal, and he yeah, yeah. that made me so. Soon. But that motherfucker's from whatever projects in New Orleans, my nigga. Yeah, but yeah, what the fuck you, uh, Holly Grove? Holly Grove. There we yeah, go. So and all I'm basically saying, I don't know Barack's upbringing and so on and so forth. I know Lil Wayne his silly ass shot himself. I know he's more <laughs> relatable to pain. <laughs> but being relatable uh, doesn't mean that you're in touch. And I think that is true because Wayne is not in touch. God damn. And that's the creepy thing or the crazy thing about all of this, man, because all it takes is just 
anything to sway or to affect or influence anything. Yeah, it's I think, weird. I, I think bro. with Wayne, like he said, Wayne is a little bit out of touch. Like he definitely is. Nah, man, when he said that Black Lives Matter, y'all heard them comments that he said Bruh, about that. He's definitely, yeah, that was yeah, so yeah, touch, yeah, good one, y'all. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I know his, I know where he came from, but that's not who he is. I just feel like, man, oh, go ahead. when we talk about intent, I mean, intent is great. Um, I have great intentions when I do a lot of things. What they say um, about hell? Hell's filled with what? Niggas with good intentions. There we go. I feel it. Hey, hey. Jay Z's intentions are good, right? All right. His intentions to me All don't right. matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Proceed, bro. The reason that his intention, nor anybody else's intentions, matter to me for that fucking matter. So what I need to, I need to be able to see. That whatever you're doing, whether your intent is for yourself, if it's self-serving, or your intent is for the greater good of the people, I just need to see that your actions have a positive benefit. The actions of a lot of people, there have been a lot of people that have done great, amazing things that have changed the world for the better. Hmm. Probably have fucked up intentions. Probably were fucked up people in their own personal time outside the sight of people. Hmm. But that's not my business. That doesn't affect me. Your intention does not affect me. The what result. you did affects me okay. what laws you put into into uh, the practical application of whatever laws get put into law affect me whatever right. business deals that happen in a neighborhood in my neighborhood specifically down here in clayco affects me i need tangible things affect me i don't give a fuck about your personality i don't give a fuck if you like me i don't give a fuck if you a nice person i give a damn about none of that and we spend so much time trying to figure out if a person's intentions are pure that we miss opportunities that may put us as a community in better position what's weird if this was the nba which it wouldn't be because the NBA's in tune. I would feel different. This is the NFL. Man. Yeah, they, they, they got a lot of history with doing Bruh, bullshit. I mean, good old like, boy. Man, that's cool. Like I said, when you look at it, if you just look at it and don't get everything and shit's all out of context, you look, you're just looking at the highlighted, you know what I'm saying, the, the highlights of the moment. Mm -hmm. Like, Jay-Z looks crazy, but he's oh. not. But he's not. I just feel like, man, with, with Jay, especially with looking at an individual, looking at his track record, it's looking good. at what he has done in the community, especially on this last three, four, five-year run, uh, I just feel like he has earned the benefit of the doubt. I feel like him okay, in particular okay. coming to sit at the table. I feel like this this should be something that piques our interest oh. as opposed to triggers out. Okay, let me let me ask this: How did y'all feel when goddamn Jim Brown went to the White House and spoke with fucking Trump? I didn't have an issue with Jim Brown when he spoke with Trump. It's a fucking conversation. Once again, whether we like Trump or not, he is the president of the country. So. I've said again, I've said before, everything is about strategic alliances. Just because somebody is your ally doesn't mean you like them. America and the French were allies when they fought the Revolutionary War. They didn't like each other. God yeah. damn. They, had a, they had a similar self interest. They had a okay. mutual okay. self interest. Okay. They came okay. together to beat the bullet. Okay. That's I, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, but but that's been going on for a while. Yeah, that, that, that the type same, of movement. The, the like, same yeah. bullshit that I'm yeah. smelling has been going on for uh, quite some time. My issue with Jim Brown was the shit that he said, him and uh, uh, Coon Lewis. That nigga. That nigga What'd he say? Coon? Tell him why you yeah, mad, Yeah, that cool Ray Lewis, man. Yeah. Fuck that nigga. Oh, 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 oh. Ray Lewis. Fuck hey, that nigga. Hey, 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 bro. No now flex. That's, that's a coon to me. Man. Like, that's a nigga that has shown that you don't have integrity in the way that you move. You full of shit. Hey, bro, I bet you that nah, nigga. And your track record shows that yeah, you full of shit. Say, you a about. killer and you bullshit talking about some, Bruh. oh, I killer. took two knees for God. That nigga said killer. Bro, I bet you that nigga could tap dance for real. Oh right, man. <laughs> that nigga be killing Sandman. <laughs> Put Sam man out of shoe shine. Shoe shine. Sample that shit to death. Yeah, right. man. But see, with Jim Brown, though, see, once again, I, Jim Brown has the track record to where I have to chalk up the shit that you said as being senile in your old age. Because you've done way too much for me right, to throw you to the right, woods. Right, right. Way right. too much. I dig it, I dig it. So it, everything is about the people that are moving into positions and what they've done to substantiate whatever they're getting ready to do. I just feel like Jay is a person I feel like I have to give you the benefit of the doubt to see. Now, if you prove me wrong, you prove me wrong. We can land base you. Right. We can go in. Let me ask this. Let me ask this. Um, other than Jay, or can you name a black man in America that may be considered more successful or more prestigious? Uh, Tyler Perry, he's he's up there. Prestigious? I don't. I think uh, not about prestige, the prestige, but he's up there as far as just like even influence. if not prestige, just Business like Business acumen. Tyler Perry yeah. can be up in that conversation. Uh, Oprah's Diddy up there. Is I said black man, sir. That's oh, black, 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 yeah, black, black man. Yeah, Diddy is in that conversation. 
The only um, person I could think of is Obama. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, former president. That's but, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can't have Obama. They couldn't call Obama. You know what I'm saying? Hove is hip hop. Hove is the youth. Oh, uh, it's it's we'll see, man. Cause, bro, like we gonna see. my yeah. gut, man, my gut don't be lying, bro. I would say I, I would say this. I would say this. He he might look like a house nigga, but he might be moving like a master. Like we we really don't know what he's what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to work out these strategic alliances, like he said, to try to build something positive. It it, and might, it, it could backfire. He, even he, if it he, don't he, work, he tried. And, and and the one thing that I have to keep in mind too when it comes to Jay, Jay is a billionaire. Jay got money. Jay has been moving in a manner that would give the optics that he don't give a fuck what nobody really got to say about him at and, this and point. Hold on, and that's exactly my... I feel that he don't give a fuck. That's, but that's, that's, not, necessarily, I mean. that's not necessarily a bad thing, though. You, we need niggas that can move in these kind of positions and not give a fuck. No, I'm talking to the about point they not sway. I'm saying he don't give a fuck about... Bro, it's, uh, if it ain't about the money... <laughs> Th- that's mean, just how I feel. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, like, we will find out. Time will tell. Time yeah, will yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Will tell. definitely. Um, it's so, ballsy. You know what I'm saying? He's. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll I mean, it's see. definitely going to be profitable. Because it, w- w- what irks me about white America and Black America with our issues and stuff, it's like we all. Where are the lawyers? Where are the thinkers? Where are the doctors? Where are the there? There. Professors? What you talking about? Our leaders are the folks that they always try to use to speak for us. Are always the entertainers, bro. Oh, you talking like the Al Sharpton oh, speakers? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's the what I'm Al saying. It's always the rappers. It's always you know what I'm saying. I mean, like we, we got so many people yeah. out here, bro, that can be a real voice for the people. But you know what? I, what I what I say to that? Of course, the people that they put out front are going to be those individuals. But to be fair, those people are the ones that push our culture forward, whether we like it or not. It's the entertainer. That is our biggest source of revenue as black people, as a community, is entertainment. That is, unfortunately, that has, hip-hop has, that is put, a problem, has made right, more though. black billionaires than any other industry. Millionaires? Yeah, you got Ice Cube. Millionaires, I'm sorry. I said billionaires. No, I feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, no, yeah. I know what you meant. I could say a lot. Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Master Man, too P. many, too many. too many. Way too many. Yeah, I mean, you can... Because the sports contract, them niggas be going broke, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, my God. The way, I don't know how they designed their contracts, but a lot of people are destroyed due you know to the lack of knowledge. That's, there you yeah, go, Joe. Yeah. For you reject knowledge, I also reject D. What the yeah. fuck are you doing with your money, Playboy? Hey, man. You trying, you trying to ball like baby? You ain't got baby money. You giving, I, you giving children. It's like giving a baby an AK-47, man. Mm. That's what these contracts are like. Bro, they, people are not getting on with the information necessary to handle that stuff. That's why when you talk about stuff like raising the minimum wage in this country, it's like, that's cool. But what about the bad spending habits that people have? If you can't do a lot with a little, they gonna put how it right are you going to do a put lot right with a lot? You're going to lose that shit. Yep. Yep. Most people that are wealthy... Or no, I'm not going to say wealthy. A lot yeah. of rich people yeah. have financial problems because of their spending habits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their and money ain't making discipline? a difference. That's all that is. is yeah, that's you got, it. You got lawyers that are broke. It's crazy. But, Nick, <laughs> it's a, my crazy. wife was telling me, we crazy. had a meeting with, with her, um, it's over her brokerage, right? She sells real estate. Her wife was, uh, her, her person that owns the brokerage was telling us about this person that's a fucking doctor making over $300,000 a year. Couldn't get a house. Nah, yeah. his credit Could not buy up. a house because yeah, his credit was so fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of his spending habits. All right. up his nose. I, I bet I you bet. He, he has a Discover card. Who the fuck has that? That shit maxed out. And they got Capital One. And they got American Express. He probably maxed all that shit out because hey, he wants to do everything. Hey, man. Cartel don't take goddamn credit cards, man. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me stop hey, talking to this. Anyway, no, that's, um, that's, that's what it is, bro. We're going to wish, um, wish the best for Jay. I, 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 yeah, I, I wish the best for Jay. And I'm, I'm just going gonna, gonna to leave on this quote, man. I heard this today. Somebody talking about this very situation yeah, this yeah. lady comedian named um ada rodriguez okay rodriguez uh she talks on the uh, on the young turks black uh young black female comedian uh she said we constantly give our money to institutions that hold us back yet set fires around the things that will help us and i just feel like we don't even have to put this on just a jay-z situation necessarily because it's debatable like i said we going time will tell but yeah. a lot of times when we see people attempting to do things, attempting to make a change or a move, we don't support that. But we consistently fund the things that actually are funding our oppression. Yeah. You look at a Walmart. You look at Nike. It's playing both sides of the fence with that kind of shit. Yo, Nike All this kind of stuff we, we are running to spend our money with. But the niggas that at least pretend 
Even if we don't know their intent, they at least are trying to I pretend. I fucked up because I got on Adidas. They <laughs> <laughs> ain't in the same boat, nigga. <laughs> they ain't Nike, bitch. That's, <laughs> they, have, they have less sweatshops. <laughs> That's Adidas for you. Hey, everybody, hey, everybody hey, operates. Hey, I'm just funny. being funny, guys. I know, I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, you, know, you know what other organization is a sweatshop? These. <laughs> this nigga ah, here. <laughs> ah, that was good. Ah, that was a good from one. From the window to the wall. Jackson from the three. Uh, no, nah, the motherfucking NCAA. Man. Yeah, man. They, man. They're pretty fucked. Man. And, and, and we already know what it is, bro. That's what I'm saying, man, because it's about systems. And the systems are designed to keep us in a position of not having power. Yeah. Hating on my man, Rich Paul. Come on, man. They yeah. back that shit up, though. Yeah, they try to make him. They try to make yeah, him poor did. Paul. They try to make poor Paul, but that shit wasn't gonna happen. That the, his influence and the people surrounding him wasn't gonna let that happen. Man. But basically, they was uh, wanting for you to be a part of the uh, NBPA, which I think is the National Basketball Player Association. Association yeah. yeah, for three years, huh? um, they wanted you to take a test. Be certified for the NCAA. Yeah. And it, it, but you had to go to Indiana to do it. Mm-hmm. Ha! Okay. I'm, man, not, I'm, I'm not, not even I'm mad not at that. so far. I'm not even I'm mad not at that. That's clan land. I know, but... but well. That's where I'm from, <laughs> bro. That's where I'm from, my nigga. Clan land. Nigga, Georgia's clan land. Stone Mountain. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but the big kicker, which has nothing to do with anything, is you needed a bachelor's degree. Four-year degree. Bull. Shit. That was the fucked part. Yeah, man. Rich Paul's creating a glitch in the Matrix, man. He is like... Helping and uplifting and empowering brothers. I mean, like, I guess that's what Jay Z's attempted to try to do, huh? Is that is that what he tried? Well, to he's do? done. Is, he's he's Let's done. Let's not get it twisted. He's empowered people. He's empowered. He's people. put people in positions. Yeah. Okay. Well, Rich Paul, his um clients, ridiculous. LeBron, LeBron, Anthony Davis. That's two of the top ten in the league. They got yep. Draymond Green. You got right? Draymond Green. Yeah. Good job. Goddamn, Mike. Give me some more. You know somebody else? Um, it's called Clutch Sports uh, Agents. <laughs> John Wall, Ben Simmons, Eric Bledsoe. All of these dudes, with the exception of John Wall, were in the playoffs this year, sir. Balling no, he, like a motherfucker. He's uh, he's responsible. I mean, first we got LeBron. Yeah, I was about to say, big up so, LeBron. So LeBron put the man on, man. Yeah. Big up. You know what? That's somebody I trust. That's somebody I trust. And LeBron. Motherfucking LeBron. LeBron Why? Might, Why? Because LeBron, he he, you don't think that he's a business? Yes, he is, but he got a goddamn school. He's he, he has less money. So that's the school that does. No, it. it's it's what you do with your resources. So bro. what has Jay done? I don't no. know. Look, look, Jay got look, hey, look bro. Look, look, you oh, told out yeah. of your mouth. You told me when it came to the Dre, uh, not the Draymond. I about to say Draymond with the Drake situation with the what's the mo- the video. With the um, Shit, video. giving the money. Okay. Oh yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you yeah, think so you that LeBron told, put, no, 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 is that what you think? I, I'm not saying this with LeBron. I don't know LeBron. I like LeBron. Well, go ahead. I like what he's doing. Your point was niggas that are doing things and being seen doing things that you didn't respect that because you didn't feel like the intent was genuine. Right. Every time I turn around, LeBron is on the motherfucking television. That may be so, but I feel. Look, I, I bro, this is my gut. My gut. I feel that he's genuine. I feel I mean, that I, I, that I, nigga's genuine. I really bro. think, I do. yeah, I really think you just look at you, you like what he did and or does, and you're like, I fuck with you. You look at Jay, he's like, Mm-mm, don't fuck with you, bro. It's I think, bro, I, I think I, it's as simple bro, as it's like not. You it's film. not just the look, bro. This shit is calculated. It's it's just, bro. I just feel this way, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's a look, a feeling, a good yeah. feeling, the a way feeling. something looks. That's the. That's all. It's not. It's uh, not based in anything logical that you can touch. I you think just gotta Le- feel. LeBron's it. a stand up guy. Bro. Yeah, it, bro. I think Steph Curry guy. and his wife. LeBron are the put greatest. his homeboys on. Bro. We we know who. <laughs> hey man, we know who got got no Who it. Rich Paul is is because of LeBron, man. This nigga's a loyal motherfucker. He's displayed this shit. How many motherfuckers? J- look, look. Babu said this shit the other day. He said that he respects Ja Rule. More than he respects 50, just off the strength that Ja Rule and Irv Gotti still make money together. They're still friends. It's sort of like us in 20, 30, 40 years, bro. I don't see us like we going to keep this shit together. Contrary to 50 Cent and Jay-Z, all the homies, all the crew members that you had that you came up with, all the people that you needed a part of your success, they're no longer here with you. Okay, so question to you. Answer. Um, Wait. I, I believe you put this on Facebook not too too long ago. When mm. it comes to don't be reading my Facebook shit. I mean, I gotta you know, don't be reading my Facebook, Facebook research, man. You know, what I'm let me saying? I gotta see what my man's mind. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, what I, I fuck say, with bro. you. But now, um, 
I believe you said, or you reposted something that, and I'm paraphrasing here, mm-hmm. talking about as you make your ascension, how other people will fall to the wayside and you can't always grow with everybody. That is true. That is true. So I don't understand where that would differ. How did LeBron, how did LeBron keep his circle? How did he stay coming up with them? How because, did he stay loyal to them? How, uh, how did that Well, happen? I mean, we can we can theorize about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it, but, it could be just the, the way that they do business makes it to where even if there's a disagreement, there's nothing to part ways about because your business is literally tied into what I have going on. It might be that they just decided that their friendship, no matter what, they can make it work. Um, that I mean, sounds like good shit to me. That sounds like a lot of I'm not mad at none of that. But what's the last thing you said? They could be what? Huh? What, you said they could be what? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. I ain't hear that. But anymore. when you look at a J and Dame to me, like I said, I respect both of them for what they've done and how they move. I really respect Dame because Dame is the contrast to me. I'm not a nigga that has necessarily moved like Dame. Dame is abrasive. Dame is in your face. Dame is a speak my mind no matter the, the fuck is going on. I am a person that likes to choose my words. I say what I feel, but I might not necessarily speak it how I feel it. And it's as an as an adult man now, I'm much more comfortable. If you whether you like it or not, I'ma say it. I still choose my words. But when I was younger, it's like, eh, is this situation gonna be beneficial for me to get in? Is it not? It's, I, I was just a bit more cautious. I fucked with the with the in your face of that. Jay obviously don't move like that because we, we've seen that or not seen certain things that have put him in a certain position. So at some point, if you have two philosophies that are that diametrically opposed to each other, that's going to cause some conflict. Only a matter of time, huh? It's, it's a ticking time bomb. Yep. It's, it, it's, it's inevitable. And when you have fallen outs, there's always his side, his side, and the, and truth. the truth. Honestly, I think friendships are just built on certain bonds. Some are stronger than others. And that's what it comes. That is true, and I think Jay Z and Dame and Ja Rule and Irv. I mean, their bond was built on something different. I don't know them personally. None of us do. So whatever Dame and Jay couldn't get over, obviously Ja and Irv could. And they had the feds on their ass together. So (laughs) that's a a lot to be going through. It's like shit. Hmm. And we do know that Dame, you know, and it was big involved. Uh, There's a third member that's part of Rockefeller. Big, Um, yeah, big. Yeah, maybe maybe the money wasn't right, or maybe he saw something. I I remember the Cameron situation is what did it did it for. That was the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was was the beginning. Okay, I'm with the. I'm not with the fuck. Then he made him like vice president. I want to know why Jay don't like Cam, bro. Bro, That's what I'm saying. Bro, they don't fuck with each other. Be, be, you said they just don't fuck with each other. I can see why. No, but I, I wonder why. why. I wonder like why. That nigga <laughs> can't have a cocky motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that nigga yeah, but, 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 an was asshole. funny. Bro, Cam, I didn't like Cam for a while. I, I love I Cam. Him. I love Cam. What's funny is, I mean, like, I understand why niggas don't like him, but that might be part of the reason why I like him. He might be the only arrogant motherfucker I really like. Bro, Real talk, bro, because he's arrogant as shit. Back in the day, came to meetings all pink and shit. With his dipstick crew, I know Jay bro. was like, "Yo, get this nigga, get this clown bro, out yo, of here, bro." Yo, Kevin Hart <laughs> said on the Breakfast Club any you interview, he said he came in the goddamn Def Jam office with a fucking Rasta wig on. <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> that shit. He, wow, bro. I was listening to a Petey Crack interview last week, bro. Petey Crack, bro. God listen, damn. listen to this shit, bro. Listen to this shit. This nigga Petey Crack said that um, what song was that? What song was that? I don't know what song. I can't remember his first single or whatever. It was a song that, but but he had camera on that motherfucker. And he played it for Jay the first time. I think Jay Z said, Hey, engineer, cut that off. Delete that right there. (laughs) 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 That nigga Petey, hey, bro, that nigga Petey said, This is the big homie. He did that shit and just walked out the room. I stuck there like. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Hey, up, man. hey, that's what Petey said, but we don't know what went the fuck down, man. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. I'll give you part two of the shit. This nigga said he went to a couple of states a day later or whatever, and then linked up with state property. Motherfucker, he played that same. Hold on, played that same shit. Look, look, look. I'm going off. He said that Cameron he ended up seeing Cam again. He told Cam that Jay deleted the shit, and Cam was like, "Yo, man." 
I got a copy right here. Here's the copy. This nigga goes to Beanie Siegel to play that copy. Beanie Siegel does the same fucking thing, bro. <laughs> he took that shit out, broke that shit, and got back to playing the game on it. <laughs> God damn. Beanie ain't lying, bro. He nigga, yeah, bro. Them niggas don't fuck with Kent. Bro, what it is is Harlem, nigga. That's what it is. Dame Dash, Harlem, I Diddy, can't. Harlem, Cam, Harlem. I think when Cam got on, the whole that dipset movement was huge. Bro, dip, bro, so, that's one of my favorite movies. That was a bro. strong move that they did. Yeah, dipset is God that. damn, bro. Do y'all remember community. that? The heat makers, that oh, sound? Yeah. Bro, heat makers still got it. That new Jim Man, Jones that, album? Yeah, that Jim, that Jim album was dope. The, uh, they the got album before that. that. They did a the whole uh, album. They, they got heat makers album. on the album. Yes. Oh, no. my God. Nigga, the cover art's dope. <laughs> I, look, look, look. <laughs> that, that, see, that's the album. thing about their movement because it was the colors, the 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 the, the eagle, the b- bird gang. God damn, yeah. bro, that shit, bro, dip. I always say this though. I mean, man, I don't know if Jay deleted that shit and Beanie snapped that nigga shit and just kept playing the game. That's, bro, that's, that's savage. Bro, that, PD crack ain't that's no, what ain't PD no said, nigga. That's I'm classic. Just, PD just, crack ain't no bitch. Like uh, Beanie single ain't either. What he supposed to do, bro? He look, look. He said flip side. Or I think it was flip side, but it was around the time where he he's not fucking paid, not paid in full. He's not um state property. He's just getting on. So I mean, what is he supposed to do? I mean, I guess he gotta take the L, but you man, got, that's disrespectful. I mean, what shit, are you supposed bro. to do? You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know how we got on PD crack. That because is a I got hell, that damn J. A it's all it's all connected to J. But this cool, nigga, nigga back to Rich Paul, goddamn. Rich Paul, goddamn. <laughs> Rich Paul said, "Fuck that shit." He, he I, I don't have the tweet. Maybe I could put it up. He had a very eloquent way of just shitting on the NCAA. Yep. In an eloquent way, motherfucker. Fuck it, that it, shit. It was poetry. Whoop that shit. It he was said poetry. <laughs> poetry, bro. It was some Shakespeare shit, man. I, read, <laughs> I, I bro. It, 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 I was like, damn, this is this is good. Like, it's good. This is a movie. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Dramatic, you know, huh? Not even a week later, him. I, I'm pretty sure it's him and LeBron got that shit uh, removed. The NCAA uh, pulled back. Why did they pull back, nigga? You aiming at one person? Yeah. We know you aiming yeah. at. Yeah. Does, it affect, does it affect a few agents? Sure. Who the fuck is they? they you know what I'm saying sponsoring? I don't know. You're talking about the biggest agent in the game, and yes. the reasoning was bullshit. Bro, they well, said they want to. Uh, we're, we're implementing these new policies in order to prevent or lessen the chances of our players being taken advantage of by bad agents. Goddamn, the players are being taken advantage of by the NC double motherfucking A. Come on, Bruh. G. Pay them kids, man. Bruh. Pay them something. Bro, even if you something. don't, even if you don't give them cash, just just, just do something. Help Nigga, them take out. Help them movie out. tickets, goddamn gas money, something. <laughs> a rental tickets. car, movie bro, tickets, bro, bro, goddamn something. PlayStation Three, well, goddamn well, phone, whatever. I, I think the NCAA is really hot behind that student athlete shit, right? And it, it, fine, they are students first, mm-hmm. right? So they do get a free Man, education. Man, fuck that student but, shit, bro, on no, the Monopoly board. What I'm saying is on the Monopoly <laughs> board. On the control. Monopoly board, it's about the fucking money. They okay. overcharge the students to begin with. I know. So we, if we start there, it's already bullshit. It's already bullshit. Come what on. I'm saying is we got to put the education, the, the price of the education into what Nigga. they're paying. I just think they need to do some kind of compensation while they're there. I think that as far as food, as far as transportation, they need some help. Because some of these kids are... Like, when Jameis Winston stole some crabs. Nigga, if you stealing crab legs... And you just start hey, bro, fucking not, quarterback. No, no, no. He's a bad example to use. Cause I, I know he is. Throw. <laughs> that nigga throw, <laughs> throw bro. <laughs> that yeah. nigga was still... Yo, drink right here, and he got money in his pocket, bro. I just think something wrong with that. Nigga, he might bro. be, but the fact that he's like the quarter, okay, okay, he's okay. like the quarterback what I'm bubble gum. There's, there's other players. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Real talk, bro. bro. Shrimp and boat ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, bro. Hey man, still, what I, what I'm saying is, is that motherfuckers is gonna be, you know, doing some hood shit. Why are they acting like this? You know what I'm saying? Feed them. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 pay for their transportation. Some. M- make sure that when they're there, they need nothing. I not it. anything. You know what my issue is, Mike? What? My issue with the NCAA is, I believe in equity. Hey. When you look at the NBA, right, these niggas get their contract, they get endorsements, they NBA get paid for winning, their likenesses. Bro. NBA oh, yeah. Y'all are making way exponentially more money. Than what you're paying these young men in, in college tuition. Yeah. When it comes to jerseys, y'all see the fucking on. jerseys Keep with on. their names Keep on it. On. Y'all got fucking video games with these niggas Keep in on. there, man. Oh, no, no more po- video games. No more video games. Man, I don't. 
You, that you ain't the fucking point. <laughs> there we, we go. Now, and and if you go. decide that you want to do them again, you're going to do it because that's what you want to do. Yeah. They canceled that shit. Now, what's crazy it, it's is not what, happening again. The what X just too, said, so. that nigga Chris Weber on that 30 for 30 about the 5-5, five five, uh, y'all check that shit out. That shit was classic, y'all. But that motherfucker was, basically, he said what you just said as of he's walking in the mall and he see his jersey with his last name on that motherfucker for $70 and he ain't got $70 in his pocket. That's deep. Nah, man, it goes beyond deep. Man. That deep. make me want to goddamn... I would say this. I think the NCAA should not be selling jerseys. They make way too much money to sell merch Merchandise with these kids' nah, names man, they on it. Just sell, sell the jerseys. Fuck, not, give not, them a percentage. No, but see, they're not going to do that. We know they're not going to give them a percentage. They need to. Cause, That's cause, just because they're amateurs. They they considered amateurs, and you get paid professionally. They, nigga, they're not going to switch that. They need to stop exploiting them. Period. I agree. I, with I, that. I rather you just don't sell the jersey. Just sell a regular jersey. Because you can't own my Bro, likeness still, if yeah. you're not employed. They're still yeah. making money off of motherfuckers coming to the game to see Zion or whoever the name. But they're gonna continue to do that, bro. They gotta continue to no, make but, but money. But that's the reason why I'm saying, bro. Somehow, some way, man. You know how they got lunch card or something. They, man, these motherfuckers is brilliant and smart, and they coming up with all these systems to keep us in check. They can come up with a goddamn system to be fair, bro. Now I'm not they gonna can. say his name. I agree with that. But I remember this uh, old college friend of mine. He went to uh, Missouri, Mizzou. I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So he's uh, he he only lasted a year, but he said when they recruited him, they flew him out. They paid for it. They said they put him in a very nice hotel. When he got there, he had girls waiting for him. And they had beers. And they were like, That's fuck. That's devil shit. Bruh. Yeah, yeah. And afterwards, they took him to like a nice restaurant. And pretty much for the whole week, he was pampered. He said he ended up signing, of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting my dick sucked. And I'm eating steak. Nigga, I, you know, I'm with you. Mizzou, you know I what I'm saying? I was getting a dick suck eating steak. Both, nigga. They probably, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Room service. Room service, my nigga. But he ended up signing. Of course, he ended up getting red shirt. He got hurt, blah, blah, blah. But the whole point is that they, they do some side shit. They do some side shit. Come on, man. They it's business, I know. of course. They so, do hey, same shit with the military, bro. They do some side Fuck shit. Fuck them, too. But anyways, man, <laughs> NCAA, y'all fucking up. Thank God Rich Paul got that shit to get removed because I know it's him and LeBron's influence. Oh, uh, I, you know what? I'm, I don't even think it's just Rich Paul, though. This, this dude, I mean, it is him, but... Rich Paul and LeBron James, the combined two, man, they have so much support from the players. That's what I respect highly about the goddamn NBA. Them motherfuckers stick together. <laughs> yes, yeah, they do. They stick together. The yes. NBA is for real. The NFLPA, trash. Man. God. <laughs> Come on, man. They don't even Gavage. Like Come on, man. Stupid. That's why they have no control. Yeah. But see, this is a prime example of if you have a collective, everybody operating on one accord, even if you ain't got to agree on every single thing. If your main goal is this, and we can agree on this, we can get so much done. Yeah. We can control so much just off of having a one, one, a line goddamn goal. Yeah. I mean, Rich is a dope dude, but he was, he was getting them kids paid. I think he, I forgot the, the player, but he had him skip a year of college mm-hmm. to go international. And he, had, he got a sponsor deal, got a million dollars before getting drafted. Yeah, fuck mm-hmm. college when it comes when, when so, you have that option. Hell yeah, yeah that's what I'm no, saying. No, but I'm man. saying the NCAA don't like that. Yeah, I know they. So, don't. I think it's bullshit that, that they, they won't let because uh, it's. The, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. you I'm go. You got it. breath. You got breath. No, I was just saying. I think that it's bullshit that they won't let uh, players come out of high school and play in the NBA. And, and that's exactly what I'm saying Why? because what they what they they try to stop our progress, our progress. That's what it boils down to, bro. The industry don't give a damn about you, but the industry can't make a dime without you. Come on, Joe. You, it's been t- bars. I would tell you this. There's a reason why they did that. They need to make money. Yeah, they, that's they, what I'm saying. Yeah, the that's the problem. Yeah. They can have the best players go from fucking North Clayton High to fucking... Uh, well, like, but, you, but, no, but, you gotta, but this, you got to be good enough, though. Everybody's not good enough. No, but those great good enough players like LeBron. Think about LeBron went to college for two years. I mean, right. I dig and understand. He would have made but, it. I, I, yeah, listen, I, they they they, yeah. they stopped. It. I mean, let's, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. They, they they are still a business. Colleges, college institutions are still businesses. It's a damn shame that they have that much influence over the fucking NBA, though, bro. That's that's insane to me. I think the NFL and the NCAA are the same. I think the same. <sighs> bro, they got Condoleezza Rice bro. on the goddamn. Let me tell you something. Council. Think I'm playing about this golden ticket Willy Wonka shit? These motherfuckers in the same factory cooking. They in the same fucking right. building. This is America. Who are, I know. Who are Man. the Oompa Loompas? Uh, uh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rock Nation. I just want you to know. <laughs> it ain't where I've been. Hey, but come where in. I'm about to go. 
What you want me to do, nigga? You better go get this chocolate. <laughs> you better go pick these Hilarious. lollipops. And you know how uh, you know how the Oompa Loompas were playing the little flutes in there. Nigga, they walk Austin at the. Floor. Remember Jay Z on the record, unleash the flutes. <laughs> Crazy. Unleash the flutes on Crazy. the guru. Crazy. <laughs> Funny as hell. That nigga said guru. <laughs> Funny. Hey, bro. Hey, real talk. Y'all know, y'all know Jay ain't coming in the chocolate factory, controlling the chocolate factory. Nigga, you you at the like the muffins and shit. You you at the, the beginning stage. The and shit, muffins. Bro. Hell no. But I don't anyway. think they have muffins in, in, in now, uh, the chocolate, chocolate factory. Chocolate muffins. No, I saw not a muffin in the factory, sir. I looked all through the factory. Keep on going. Oh, you keep, went to the keep, factory. Keep on running with the yeah, Willy Wonka. Keep on, <laughs> nigga. Willy Wonka. Keep on. Keep, keep on. Chocolate oh. factory. No, nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> cool table, ho. <laughs> y'all funny as shit, bro. I love y'all boys, man. Real but anyways, time. Rich Paul, he's uh he's no longer allowed in the chocolate factory. Uh, <laughs> Get out. Hey man, no, that's, that, that was the problem. They that wanted him to come to the chocolate factory. Yeah. He, nah, said he, he was there, going. he got out. That nigga they, they started spinning that damn teacup. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> no. he better get on board and get the fuck out. Hey, he man. got the fuck out. But anyways, yeah, man. Shouts shout out to Rich Paul. Yeah, shout Staying rich. Big ups. Keeping the culture rich and all that good shit That's like right. that. Shouts out to him. Shouts out to LeBron. Shouts out to every black person out there that has a fluent influence. Uh, positive doing something influence. positive yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You know specifically I feel you bro yeah but um man I think that it's it's only right man because last week we didn't do a uh, one gotta go man that conversation went long man very very but it was a good conversation necessary yeah. conversation yeah we should do a one gotta go no nah, not a one gotta go we top need five. to do a top five top, five. top, top, mother, five. top five. five sports movies hey that's interesting that's dope that's fun yeah it's, it's some great who going Sports first? movies might be one of the greatest movie genres they have out here. It's honestly. pretty damn good, especially if you, if you get like a sh- like one that like um, but the one I'm gonna mention in like any given Sunday, I Billy think that's top of the list, bro. Nigga, top of the list for me, man. bro. Any given Sunday with Al Pacino and just the story behind that movie when Jamie Foxx and LL actually got into a fight. And, you, yeah. and when you look at the movie, you know what part it is. Yep. When them niggas in the locker room, when in the locker room, yep, <laughs> bro. You can look at LL and say. This nigga is for real, or he's about to get an Oscar. <laughs> like, Jamie was, hey, hey, bro, that's the history behind. I think that's the great acting, great storytelling. Uh, Who directed Al- the movie? I'm sorry. Oliver Stone. Yeah. Oliver Stone busted nut when that scene happened. <laughs> I, I can't remember you, who you was telling the story about that, but they said that he was just in the back, just with the devilish. <laughs> Come on, man. So but that's top five, to man. You got to put Al Pacino, Jamie, and all them on there. Nah, man. facts. God damn. All right, we got any given Sunday X. What's up, man? You have to throw Remember the Titans. Motherfucker, that's my god. Bro, you see this shit? That's number one and number two, bro. I'm cool table, man. God Bruh. damn. If you don't put if you don't put Denzel shit, it's 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 not. I actually would put Remember the Tight Zone any given Sunday over it, but I mean like that's well, a fair assessment. I mean I'll watch them Maybe. both. I'll watch them both over and over and over and over again. You know what I love about that movie? What's that? I love the dynamic of okay, we have black people and white people coming together, right? Yes, sir. That's that's all that's all fine and good. Dope. Sometimes to me that don't come off right. The Blind Side is an example of a bullshit movie to me uh-huh. uh, when it comes to race relations. Uh-huh. I felt like they did a great job in that story, man, of we actually have a common ground in genuine people on both sides. It's not a white savior. Because Den- Denzel did not have a white savior, per se. He handled his business. He had that team rolling. The white coach had his back when it came down to it when it was necessary. He had to change the heart of some uh-huh. things, which was dope having that alliance like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I never felt like it was white people to, re- to the rescue for these poor blacks. Right. That's that's what I really enjoyed. Right. It, it felt like just an authentic, yo, we see that there's humanity in the both yes, of us. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And, and, and what I guess... According to the movie, bigs up to Julius and Bertier. Damn. They were the actual leaders. They were the ones yeah. that actually made it, made the unity happen. Yeah. Strong side, weak side. That scene mm-hmm. right there, that's what did that shit. All right, man. Damn, y'all said any given, remember. What am I going to say next? Damn, man. I'm a. Damn, man. I'm going I'm to I'm say third, man. Wildcats. What y'all know about that? And like Wildcats, hold up. Which, 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 uh, that's with a chick. Oh my God. Is that the chick? Okay, Wild the girl? Cats. It's the Sport Kings. Better than diamond rings. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Football. But anyway, y'all didn't get that shit. Goldie Hawn. The yeah, first I said mo- the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The like, first yeah, movie okay. that Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson was in. 
Um, who else was in that motherfucker? The fat boy from Police Academy and goddamn Bubba Bubba Gump was the quarterback. Bubba Gump was the quarterback. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I, 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 I remember it, but I, got I don't. Movie. I just looked it up. Classic. Yeah, I yeah, remember nah, that was it. a good movie. I, I got, remember I, it, I, I but gotta, I don't. I got to throw that out there, bro. Yeah. That's I don't me. know if that would be in my top five, but Man, I Man, it's you. top five, bro. It's, t- it's not in your top five <laughs> because you're a five. young dude, bro. That's why, bro. What they got to do? I like a lot of old movies. Bro, that junk is classic. It got LL Cool J in it. He was performing at the prom. It's classic, bro. Like LL did Crush Groove. <laughs> don't matter. No, Cr- Crush Groove ain't got nothing to do with sports movies. I know this. That's my shit. But um, what's funny is, I mean, I'm gonna name the one that I wanted to put over that, but I'm putting Wildcats just because it's classic, man. Well, all of them classic. But go. Who me? Whoever. I'll my go favorite ahead. sports movie of all time: Talladega Nights. Ricky Bobby. Sports? <laughs> what the I'll fuck? Beat your motherfucking ass. My. I'll beat your motherfucking right. ass. Right. Hey, nigga. Great. NASCAR is a fucking competition. It's not a sport. Great. It's not a fucking it's sport. A sport. Mike, I, man, I'm going to take this shit off right now. Hey, man, cut, 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 cut the fucking... Cut the mic, man. Just because you don't watch NASCAR. No! You motherfucker. Nigga. Tell nigga Fam. is a no, no, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. X, please. Ricky. Please Bobby. check this nigga. And it's a great movie. Ricky, it's a great movie. Bobby. But for it's you to say movie. that's a fucking sport? First of all, NASCAR is a sport. Dude. No, it's not. Just because they say it, it's not a sport. It's not it's a, a sport. fucking sport. It's a sport. You, you train for fucking sports. You don't train to drive Yo, a damn yeah, car. You train, Yo, you that's, train. that's the white struggle, Joe. To get NASCAR recognized as a sport. Hey. That was a long, hard That's fight. Hey. Had to fight. Golf Tyler, is not a sport. Dega. Golf is a competition. Man, no. Hey, golf is a sport. It's golf is a sport. I ain't going to go with you on that one. I, I'm going with you on NASCAR. No, 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 no. You I fuck with you on NASCAR. You're racing. Okay. racing okay. I'll, I'll even give you golf because golf, I mean, is physical. Ain't got the, ain't nothing physical. Man, put hey. your fucking foot on the Drive fast. Awesome. Turn left. First That's all, all you're doing. First of all, them motherfuckers going like 200 miles per hour. Hey, man. Of course. Hey, man. That shit's not making I, 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 don't, listen, I don't know. Listen. But Talladega Nights is a great movie. It's a great it was, fucking it ain't a sport sports fucking movie. movie. Probably one of my. Favorite Best sports comedy. movie out. I'm too drunk to Fair taste enough. this chicken. Okay. I can quote everything about the movie, but a motherfucking okay. sport? What is a sports movie? Not Mo- that. Motor it, it sport. Is a sports movie. Hey, I mean, motor sport. I mean, you two guys can say it's not a sport. <laughs> fucking dork. But it's a sport. They consider it a sport. I don't give a uh, fuck who they are, bro. Fuck that. Nigga, y'all niggas is wild with these hey, ass pictures nice. I got. Whatever. Wildcats and Talladega Nights. Hey man, hey, no. This no, is no, 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 no. list. Hey man, <laughs> they gonna eat you. Why they gonna eat your ass up, bro? Bro, hey, Tom, Joe can get away with Wildcats, nah, but that right there, Ricky Bobby, my, my OG is gonna fuck with me on the Ricky Wildcats. Ricky Bo- Oh man, everybody, bro, with Ricky man, Bobby. it's that's a great movie, but you said sp- nigga. Yeah, no. sports movie. Go ahead, X. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? I thought of a name for uh for a movie, but I actually don't like this movie, but it is oh. a classic. Like nigga Major League what? or something? No, no. Nah, nah. Fucking love and basketball. <sighs> yeah, that's more of a... Um, it's more love. It's, it's love, love before basketball. Movie, yes, man. it is a sports movie. It's but a, I'm not putting that shit Much on. more of a sports movie than goddamn Talladega yes, Nights. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, that's yes, what y'all two yes. niggas say it is. I don't give a fuck. The Talladega Nights is a sport. N- nigga. Talladega Nights is not a sport. It's not making this I mean, that's part of well, Talladega, Talladega is the, the, the race That's track a racetrack for sure. That they race on. Yeah. NASCAR. They race in cars. They don't race on feet. If they race on feet, it'll be a fucking sport. Hey, man. What? No. First of all, I'm going to drive straight. I'm no. going to turn left. No. Sometimes they turn right. They got Nigga, the ones. They, God okay. damn. All right. <laughs> no, okay. man. Hey, but no, I'm not saying little basketball. I don't even like that movie. Anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what you going to say, I think it's a bullshit. What you going to say, bro? Thank, um, you. thank you. Thank you. Bro, I'm going to say Friday Night Lights. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It was weird. Is I ain't see the whole movie, bro. Really? I ain't see the whole movie. Nope. Oh, nope. You, you I, I got to. I know. Go I know. I know. I know. I know. But what I was going to say over Wildcats, bro, or I didn't. Well, I was going to. But White Man Can't Jump. Oh, that's on my list. Now, what's that's funny as fuck that's is one. that's two movies. They got Wesley and Woody. Two of them. That's dope. You are that's right. Dope. That's dope. You are right. Um, I could throw honorable mentions up in this motherfucker. I don't get fucked. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's see what other bullshit Mike got to say. Bullshit, Mike. We oh, want me? the bullshit. Nah, I was trying to find a name in a movie with the uh, the running back. Uh, I think it was about Jim Brown. Ernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie, that Ernie, one. I, uh, oh, I forgot God it. Damn. It was really good. Oh, okay. I just saw it. Y'all ever saw that movie um, um, I forgot about it. the. That uh, was dope, too. I Mike. forgot the name. What was the name? It, 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 it ain't even true. showing it up on Google, true. which is crazy. Damn, like man. Top, top, uh, top sports movie, it's not even showing up. Uh-huh. 
And I've been looking for that. No, nah, because it's not one of the top. Bro, it's dope though. It is. It's it's too many classics out yeah, here. Yeah, but they got, they got none of us are going to say Hoosiers. And million dollar baby. None here, of us so. are going to say Hoosiers. Look, goddamn, yeah, nobody's going to say like Rocky. That. How the fuck? Nobody got Rocky on this. Damn, that is a sports I movie. Know, Boxing I know, is a sport. I know, but mm. we don't have Rocky. Mm. Hey, we gotta throw that in there. That's, we, that's we it. We gotta throw Rocky. That's that. Throw the Rocky in there. Okay, so definitely Rocky over Wildcats. Rocky over everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocky over top everything. We not get rid of my shit, my nigga. <laughs> Goddamn, get rid of your weak ass. Get rid of your weak ass. Yeah, stop the nigga nice guy. Yeah. And then how about this, bro? Better movie than fucking Wildcats. Ricky Bobby, nigga. You corny as hell, bro. Fuck nigga, you the corniest nigga here. Uh, oh, you know shit. what? I ain't gonna respond to that bullshit. <laughs> got aggressive, I ain't gonna respond quick. to that bullshit. Um, this nigga sound like Nicki Minaj. Yeah, there. I ain't gonna respond to that. You see how I, that shit ain't true? I ain't gonna get no energy to that bullshit. Nicki and Joe. Mm. <laughs> he called you Nicki. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I. I mean. But nah, man. This is a baseball movie and it's an all woman's baseball movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, League of Arrow. Yeah, League of Arrow. I ain't gonna flex. That was dope. That was good. Good. Here's dope. another classic. I mean, goddamn. We just gotta make the list, bro. The Sandlot. Come on. I mean, the Sandlot. Who don't it's, fuck it's a baseball the movie, but it's kind of. It's not about the sport. Yeah, but it's I, not I, a sport. Movie. Yeah, Nigga, they yeah, but they playing it, but baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing baseball, saying, but it's about the dog and shit. It's about the dog and shit. It's, it's called the, the Sandlot, <laughs> nigga. It's called the Sandlot. No, no, no. It, it, it's, a, it's a weird uh, coming of age movie. I don't know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I, but, but the sport is involved. Of yeah, the, yeah, I it agree is with there. It's part of it. I mean, this it's is not a debate. It. No, no, no. It's part I'm, of this it. This is not a debate. I can't believe I just you're giving me backlash in. and you just said fucking Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga nice is dope. Hey, bro. nigga nice is dope. I'm going to fight this nigga. Go ahead, nigga. Joe don't think he could like super box hey, no, Joe was in the gym today. No, man, huh? no, no. Joe was in the gym. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Hey, you hear how he said it matters. The simple fact that you don't have the real willpower. But when it go go. Ooh, we ain't gonna go there. Ooh, we ain't gonna go there, bro. We're not gonna go there. 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 We're not gonna go you got a breath? <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the movies, man. Y'all niggas fat. Yeah, yeah, terrible. yeah. I would say White Man Can't Jump has to be on there. Yeah, was I would the, say that, too. That was, like, in my top five. Okay. okay. So, like, well, White Man Can't Jump, it just... I would put that over Sandlight just because that movie it's is It's definitely all more entertaining. About, it's more but entertaining. It's just Sandlight can't go in a movie off principle, but it's a great mention. Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah no, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I mean, it was, at, it was the last one. I'm you ever saw that movie, uh, They Called Me Sir? Hey, by Sir Parker? Nah, what's that about? Uh, it's about Sir Parker. Uh, he Who plays is Sir for the. Uh, was he, a, he was a wide receiver for the. Um, hold on. He was shit. I forgot what he, position he played. It was a good movie though. I saw it on. Uh, it wasn't one of those blockbuster films. But How it was a recent film. is it? What time? It's is it a whole out? movie. Eighties, nineties. This is no. I mean, 90s. it was it was in the late nineties, early two thousands when My those HBO films. Uh, Michael Clark Duncan was in it. He played his coach. No, and I didn't uh, hear about Sir that, Sir Parker was he, it was one of those stories of you got the star athlete that lives in the hood uh, he's going through whatever he's going through mother on drugs he's taking care of his little brother and the niggas in the hood won't let him gangbang you can't sell drugs you can't be out here in the street with us you take your ass to school and you get the scholarship so you can go on and do bigger and better things because this ain't for you but it, it was just a solid movie fucking running yeah. back for Texas A&M um, I think I mean the they're gonna hate that we, none of us said Major League but uh, Major League is like a big fucking movie in the 80s sports movie um, Major League I dig that uh, I mean it's a lot of movies we I missing like, bro I like Kingpin Kingpin was a classic Kingpin to me. was a classic Kingpin was funny was as classic. fuck it was Woody, about Harrelson. Woody, Woody Harrelson yeah, Woody Harrelson it was, it was about bowling, but the Amish shit, that shit was hilarious. That shit that was the, uh, what's the Keanu Reeves movie? Um, the, the, the Boys. The, 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 the Replacements, replacement. and then he had Hardball. Hardball is what he had. Hardball. Hardball. Yeah. G-Baby. Oh, you love damn, when call man, that's another pa, movie I'm missing. Pa. Niggas didn't say Hoosiers. Folks ain't going to say Hoosiers, of nah, course. Nah. The Mighty Ducks. Nah, I mean it is. Mighty Ducks is a great. Yeah, I mean, movie. I didn't watch it or whatever, yeah. but you know what the I'm Mighty saying? Ducks, D1, they went all the way to like yeah. D3. Um, um, Rudy. Nah, they went beyond that, didn't? Yeah, Rudy. Rudy, was, yeah, Rudy was cool. It's, it's a lot of movies. That ain't go, everything, everybody can't make the list, man. All right, everybody so can't make the list. so we got White Man Can't Jump. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Right, Rocky. Three, four. So so basically, this is what we left with because I don't think I could take White Man Can't Jump off the list now. Can't. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that'd be hard. What's that's tough. Cause, we just cause said the four. I had said four. We got like one more. I have Friday Night Lights, but you said Wildcats, so we got to figure out this this last slot. Hey man, 
Um, God damn, man. I put it to you like this. We leave it to the fans, man. I mean, Wildcats is, bro, come on, man. Come on. I mean, it's not as recent, and I mean, you don't have to agree, but I stand on that. I stand on that. So What's Friday Night Lights? <laughs> <laughs> Stand on that, bro. I get it, man. I, I remember that. Bro, no, I bro. Remember, I remember that shit. Name one actor in Friday Night Lights. Oh shit! I, uh, Shut my, the fuck uh, up, exactly. I, I, yeah, I can't remember Ooh. the actor, but that, What's that his name? was good. I can't. Uh, that was uh, a good actor. Billy Bob though. Thornton. <gasps> All right, Billy oh, Bob Thornton. He wasn't but again, Billy Bob Thornton. Thornton, Fat Man, that was in uh, Remember the Titans, was in that movie as What's well. What's his name? I, don't, I never knew his name. Cool. Um, ain't Anthony Mackie in that movie? No, no, that's Weird Marshall. That's Will Marshall. And that's fucked up because everybody can't make it. Will Marshall was a dope-ass movie. Yeah, this list yeah. is... That was a dope-ass yeah, movie. Yeah, this list is a top five. No, but that's what it's all justice. about. It's all top about us talking this shit. So, you it know, hell of a list. Hell of a list. You know what I'm saying? But wow. I'm going to say Friday nights of a, of, a, of a Wildcats. It's up to y'all. Oh, on Friday nights. Man, I don't give no fuck about no list, bro. It's just that... <laughs> now nah, he don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the <laughs> day, man, it's all about goddamn agreeing to disagree or this debate shit. Wildcats is classic. Everybody know that shit. You the youngest out the crew, so I'm expecting you not to. I've seen Wildcats. It's not the upbringing. It's I mean, not your upbringing. You, you, you can say that. Yeah. Major, Major League was in our upbringing. I wouldn't agree, but you can say that. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. I mean, that's it. I mean, we can keep naming names, but that's it. No, no. I think that's a solid list. Yeah, you got I think, so many movies. I think, I don't think anything that we would name without outrank these movies personally. Goddamn Rocky. You know what I'm saying? We is about to slip. Yeah, we is about to up with that one. I must break you. How the fuck can we that's, not have that on there? That's Ivan? four. That's four. That's four. Come on, Draco. man. I've been Drago. Drago. But uh, Creed, shit. Creed was a great movie, too. I mean, what answer? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocky. That's I'm not going to lie to you. I, I cried Rocky. on Creed, too. I still ain't seen well, Creed 2. It's fine. So, so, so I don't want to ruin it. So your boy died. I don't he died. Huh? No, 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 no. It's not what I'm talking about. It's on some personal shit from him. I'll just say this. I am a person that I have a deep connection to any movie, show, any scene that's dealing with fathers and sons. Mm. You know, I, I'm a big, big person when it comes to fatherhood. True. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to become a fucking dad because my dad did such a phenomenal job with me. Whatever beef that we had, that nigga was the man for me. Your time coming, bro. Your time I, coming. Yeah. yeah. Well, won't be this year. It won't be this but, year. It won't be this year. Right. But yeah, maybe next year. Okay. Maybe next year. We're going to okay. see. Looking, looking forward, bro. Cool baby at the cool table. Hey. You know That's a cool ass name. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, solid list. Uh, White Man Can't Jump, Friday Night Lights, Remember the Titans, Any Given Sunday, Rocky. Uh. I'm with it. Y'all yeah. let us know what y'all think about it, man. Make sure yeah. y'all comment. Hey, y'all let me know. Let me know if I'm Talk tripping, crazy because y'all going to do it. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! All the time. All the time. But uh, nah, dope list, man. Dope, dope list. episode. Dope episode. Yeah. Thirty one. A uh, lot of good debate, man. I love it when we debate. I love intelligent discourse, man. Exactly, man. This is how we grow. This is how you get different perspectives, different views, man. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah. We talked about that last episode. Different goddamn views. Yes. We need Not worry about an image. Facts. Mm. Facts. Mm. So, man. Um, shit. Y'all got anything else I need to plug? Shit, man. I'm tired, nigga. Big ups to us, man. Thirty one strong, bro. We putting in work. We are staying committed, y'all. We are not missing no days. We we doing this, y'all. Shit. We level later, up. later not. We got <laughs> later not. We got cameras coming. Like y'all, stay tuned, man. It, the cool table is growing, y'all. Yo, my homie cussed me out the other day. I was like, yeah, we about to get the camera set, bitch. You've been telling me you getting a camera for two months. Now the money that is, is true. Though. We've been saying, we've been yeah. saying yeah. that for two months. Yeah, no, but it was the difference between you. Know what I mean, not we, the money's here. No, I mean, but yes. we have to get a certain camera, guys. We ain't getting no bullshit. I mean, we can do it on our phones, but we're trying to do this legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it man. requires yeah, a certain level of investment. Hey, y'all, we, we, it's on the way. Just stay tuned. Just You'll stay see. tuned, man. We are manifesting. Stay yes. tuned. Shouts out to anybody that's pushing through with a dream, a goal, an aspiration, man. Stay committed. Stay the course. See that shit through, my G. Salute. Straight um, up. So, yeah, y'all make sure y'all go out to www.professorxsound.com. Productions. I'm about to say yep. dot com. Dot productions for my engineering, production, all that good stuff. Sit down and do a consultation. I do albums, nigga. This is what I do. You know yep. what I'm saying? Check the credits. Hit them up. Know what I mean? Uh, but as always, make sure you guys follow us at the Cool Table Pod. 
Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, The Cool Table in the Lunchroom Podcast. Look us up on Spotify, Apple uh, Podcasts, mm-hmm. Stitcher, all the good SoundCloud, all that good shit. Episodes release every Friday on YouTube. And like I said, we got the actual video coming this time, seeing us instead of these damn images. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Which yes, I was proud of the images, but it's time for an upgrade. Yeah, we've been um, doing it for like six months. Yeah, you know what so. I mean? It's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, and last, but certainly not least, winning. winning. Win Radio. You can catch us there every Thursday, 6 a.m. PST, and the replay every Saturday at 7 a.m. PST. With that being said, I guess that's everything. Shit, the bell's about to ring. We out. Take your ass back to class.